Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, here on Dork Tales. I hope you're all doing well tonight. I know I am, because I'm back here with this amazing crew. Uh, folks, we're going to be getting started in just a moment. Before we do, uh, we're going to introduce ourselves and thank our sponsor. But first, uh, hi, everybody. I'm Kelly. I'm your Dungeon Master for the night. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. I use he and him. And I am very excited to be back here as we head into episode four. Uh, tonight, we also have a special special prize giveaway that we'll tell you about during our break from our sponsor, Bookworm Games. It is a fantastic, um, what is it? It's a dice tray tonight. Like it's a, like a full dice, like hex bin thing. It's, it's just lovely. I don't have one to hold up, but imagine I am and you really want it. It's just, it's that big. It's as big as Chris is holding up. Uh, so uh, stick around to the break to learn how to enter, and we'll do the draw at the end of the stream. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, I love you anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Give us a sub. Give us a like. It really helps. And leave a comment. I will try to respond. Uh, as I was saying to everybody earlier, I, I will try not to do the thing where I check it on my phone, get all the warm fuzzies, and then forget to answer for two months. But I will, I will try my best. Uh, so, uh, folks, without further ado, let's jump into saying hello to our cast, starting with Christine. Hello, I am Christine. Uh, I use she, her pronouns. I am a Virgo. We have a new employee starting at my work tomorrow, which is, thank God, so I can stop doing a job and a half, almost two jobs. It's going to be amazing. Um, but I'm also playing uh, Lady... Let, let's get this right. I added two names to her name the other game. Okay. Lady Alessandra Celeste Martine Barrichel. That's five names. Uh, she is... Yeah, I added two to her name. She already had Alessandra Barakal and Lady. <laughs> mm. uh, she is an ASMR paladin. Fantastic. All right, over in the corner, we've got Caitlin. Hello, I'm Caitlin. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a Sagittarius. And tonight I'll be playing Anthea Briarfoot. Uh, she is the halfling artificer. Why are you chuckling at me? <laughs> Because I because I do the zodiac sign as a joke, and then you all I'm gonna get a comment that's like, why are they doing zodiac signs? Is this some I think woke it's thing? Really fun. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> as I would say, that's the type of comment a Scorpio would leave. Oh, fucking oh. fight me! <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you. <laughs> no, sorry, Caitlin. Yeah, go on. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. Um, yeah, but she's she's the the halfling artificer of the group, and uh, she's uh. Very excited to get on with her business. Do you have a name for the business? No. Just I don't think Anthea's really Apothecary? Did. Anthony, That's a really Anthea's good one. Anthea's Alchemy? That's a really good one. Yeah, there's well, a lot of Well, because her, her family's shop is the Briarfoot, Briarfoot Brews? Uh, okay. No, Briarfoot, Briarfoot Bouquet because they're just a flower shop. She's, yeah, I know, she's, but you're like brewing things. She's a weirdo. Oh, she could be Briarfoot Brews. Or Briarfoot mm -hmm. Bombs. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. figure it out. It's, we'll figure it out. to be determined. She hasn't figured it out yet, because I have no idea. So. That's fair. All right, down <laughs> beneath you, I've got Amy. Hello, that's me. I am Amy. My pronouns be she, her, or they, them. I am a Scorpio, and how dare you? How okay, dare I'm you? So I'm sorry. We all know the real villains are Geminis. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, is that it? Is that it from you? I think so, unless there's okay. something else how, I need to say. Am I for you playing critical? What are you playing? Am I playing? Oh, I'm playing Lyric, not myself. Okay, Lyric. good. I was worried. I was worried there you were go. playing yourself. I forgot right. for a second. No, I'm just like this naturally, so I'm I'm definitely playing myself. No, I'm playing Lyric, the uh the tiefling bard. This is great. It's just it's been a long day. It's been a long day. And uh, you guess handing it off to another Scorpio, apparently. It's Krista. Damn right. <laughs> uh, I'm a Scorpio who exclusively dates Scorpios, and that's why my dating life is a disaster. Oh my um, god. <laughs> Uh, but I'm Krista. I usually they or her them pronouns. I am a Scorpio and a tiger and a redhead. So if you ever wonder why I'm a little flamboyant a lot of the time that'd be why uh i am playing uh carmilla elizarin our dampier fighter nice nice that is just a hell of a combination i'm just trying to parse it mentally and it's difficult uh last but not least we've got chris 
Howdy, my name is Chris. Uh, I am a Sagittarius, and my only two dating rules are I don't date en engineers and I don't date Scorpios. Um, I break my rules all the time, and that's part of being a Sagittarius, I guess. Uh, I am playing Sindri, our half-elven monk. Uh, I am calling him today from unsealed traditional Kit Kat territories, and my pronouns are he or they, or they or he, him. So, but happy to be here. I am super excited for this evening. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, all right. And uh, before we hop in, I just wanted to do a quick thank you to our sponsor for the night, Bookworm Games. If you're in the Vancouver area, Bookworm Games is right on your doorstep. And if you're not, guess what? They ship globally. Bookworm Games is a wonderful proprietor of dice where you can get more than 170 different types of dice from resin to acrylic to wooden to liquid core to even gemstones and edible. Do not mix those two up. Um, your teeth, your, unless you have a very good dental plan. Uh, they have fantastic things like teas, uh, quest chests, which are system agnostic adventures in a box that are a mix between an escape room and a module. Uh, that are full of all sorts of really great stuff, including like metal coins and like voice acting and music. It's really great. Um, but you can also get familiars and coming very soon, gaming tables. That's right, they're making gaming tables and outpacing the leading competitors. So go to bookwormgames.com and do yourself a favor, use code DORKTALES to save 10% off of anything on the site. Thank you to Bookworm Games for sponsoring us. And uh, also, if uh, it's getting cold outside, folks, which means you need to warm yourself up as the days are getting shorter, I always need a little bit of coffee to get me going, which is why we're also sponsored by Bones Coffee. Uh, Bones Coffee is a fantastic, fantastic cup of coffee. Everything from strawberry cheesecake to new Loki Key Lime Chaos flavored, you can save 20% at, Bo at, uh, at Bones Coffee using code DORKTALES. And uh, the mugs are really dope too, so do it. Um, all right, so besides that, um, any other questions, comments, concerns before we begin? Anything going on? All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into game. Last time on Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. You finally made it to the sleepy town of Fandolin. You checked in at an inn, you returned the goods that you'd liberated from the goblin lair. And you started asking around as to uh, what could be done to find your friend Gundren Rockseeker. With the help of Sildar Hallwinter, Gundren's friend and uh, a martial ally of yours, you made some connections around the town, got way too many side quests handed to you, and uh, basically played a Bioware game for a little bit. And uh, now that that's done, um, you are on your way away from the small Barraquel uh, cottage, Barraquel cottage, that sounds about right, uh, that Lady Alessandra had inherited, to go have a, a brief chat with a farmer woman named, and her name is very oddly spelled, so if I mispronounce it, uh, it's actually um, Kelline, is what I'm going to say. It's Q-E-L-L-I-N-E. -L -L -E. Does that sound like, like Kelline, Kelline? Super Kellen. legit. Was that? What'd you say, Krista? It, Kellen? Kellen? Q U E L L I N? Kellen? Like question. Q E. Like, Q E yeah, L I I. Kellen? Yeah, I'd probably say Kellen. Kellen? Kellen. Kelline. I'll say Kelline, like Caroline. <laughs> Sweet Kelline. All right. That's what we're going with. It's official. Um, because I sung a song. And now I owe royalties to someone. All right. So without without any further delays, uh, let's head in as you make your way over to a nice meeting at the Alderly Farm. You walk along the miner's trail from the Barraquel Cottage, passing a woodworker, passing various fields, the town master's hall, and a couple of fairly well-appointed different cottages and stone-walled buildings. It doesn't take too long, about, about five minutes, and you find yourself headed directly down the driveway of the Alderley Farm. Now, the Alderley Farm is not a particularly, particularly large place, 
Seeing that it's a family of halflings living there, it wouldn't need to be. For every story that everybody else gets, that's almost two stories for these people. And as you're walking, Miss Alderleaf's son, Carp, is asking no end of questions as you are wandering along the trail. So do you shed those horns? He says to Lyric. Do they come in with fur? Like a buck? No. Oh, we don't have any tieflings. They're... It's more like... You're a tiefling, right? You're not like a satyr in disguise? No. Like a really pale satyr? Best I touch, no. Hmm. I don't, I don't do think you, so. Do you know any satyrs? I, I, briefly. I've, I've met one. It, it was a oh. while ago. What are they like? Are they adventurers too? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Are you um, sisters? Is that why you're both so pale? Mathematician. It's all garbage to to be anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But are you you and you and the, the the lady and the with the dark hair? Are you are you two sisters or cousins? I highly doubt it. I don't believe so. Oh. Do you not go outside ever? Are you really rich? Did you forget your <laughs> umbrella? <laughs> uh, oh, she kind of oh, looks oh. up. And looks I down. could only dream. Well, one of those is true. Could it be you're really rich? You forgot your umbrella? Or, or, or peristal? She checks her pockets. What happened to your face? See that one. He says to Sentry. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone really mean hit me in the head with a big stick. Oh. Was it one yeah. of the Redbrands? Uh, no. Have they been running around doing stuff like that? I know they were uh, breaking some windows and putting grease on things, but have they been beating people up too? Or Yeah. Yeah, they've been beating all sorts of people up. They've they, been they, really scary. Um, they, um... Actually, a couple of days ago, I... And you'll hear a call from the front of the Adderley farm. Car! What are you doing bothering those people? And a small hat... Well, redundant, really. But a halfling woman uh, will wander out in her mid-30s... Um, Lines just beginning to kind of crease the sides of her eyes from long days in the fields and worrying about a pre precocious kid like Carp uh, without a partner to help. Um, will kind of wander out from uh, from behind the main house wearing kind of a milkmaid's apron. You can see that it's kind of stained with dirt and various uh, various farm fluids, we'll say. Grain and, and milk and feed and stuff like that. Just kind of coating this, like, you know, she... Farm fluids, yes, farm fluids, Chris. We're going with it. We're going with it. Um, all right. She wanders out, wiping her hands off. Why are you bothering these people? I'm not, Ma. I swear. I'm just talking to them. They're they're here to visit you. How are you now? Where do I know you from? Do I know you? Kind of an eclectic lot. Not yet. Uh, likely not yet. Yeah. As Sindri said, however, your son's been looking after my aunt's cottage. Her dog. Ah, you're one of the better quells. Yes. Um, she'll kind of reach forward and offer her hand, and I'm uh, Alessandra. You know, uh, uh, I, if you're a lady, I probably shouldn't be shaking your hand the way that, uh, that I'm all uh, mussy right now. Well, I had but, uh, carbon blood in my hand yesterday, so I, d I don't really... Well, good enough. Here you are. And she'll shake your hand, the tiny hand going inside of yours, almost like an like a child's. Yeah. Uh, you say goblin blood. So you've you traveled down probably from uh, along the Tribor. Is that where we were? She's going to turn to the others. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what I don't know. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna take Sindri at his word. He seems the most experienced. <laughs> well, um, I suppose you probably have something that you'd like to speak about. Uh, or you were just returning my son to me. He wasn't too much of a trouble, was he? Not at all. He asks very good questions. Oh, and a lot of them. Oh, yes, well, he just is very inquisitive. It's a sign of a, of a really, uh, really sharp mind. Getting sharper. Oh, well, let's hope he doesn't cut himself with it. Uh, that, that being mm. said, Ma, I'm fine. I just was having some fun. Well, I suppose so. But you didn't even invite your new friends in. I was working on it. All right, well... Sorry, the town cat keeps climbing on people. <laughs> she gets around. Well, she thinks she's cute. the boss of the place. I said oh, that earlier, I think. What a good cat she is. <laughs> ah, well, you're lucky the cat um, didn't get inside of the house with, uh, with Squire. The f Squire seems like a very ferocious hunter. Uh, he's quite a mouser, actually. As far as I can tell. Ah, uh, well... Tea. Um, ma'am, we we actually um, came to ask you if uh, you have regular contact with. Krista's looking for the name of the you druid. Know, I think all these type of conversations should be had over tea. It's tea time anyway, so if you I want some tea, I agree. My stomach's getting a bit rumbly too. How about yours? Yes. All right, so I've got fresh baked scones. I've got uh, scones. I've got a couple of different types of tea, and I've got uh, I've got biscuits as well. Come on inside. Don't Thank mind you. if Very I do. Kind of you, Radith. Thank it. All right. She leads you inside of the house, and I would like everyone to do me a favor and uh, just make me a uh, make me a DC ten deck save. Must I? No, you do not. Fail. <laughs> uh, fully, fully fail. Did you fully fail? I no. rolled a three. Oh no! Uh, so that'll 20. be five. Dirty twenty. You're fine. You're used to being on a boat, Sindri. This Next isn't much thing. worse than than the center of a boat. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so even with your horns, you manage to crouch down. Uh, this house is, it's halfling sized, right? Um, large circular doors, intricate woodworking, um, finely carved and polished barrels holding no end of apples from the local orchard. You can smell their fresh baked goods in the air. And Carmilla, there is even this these fantastic wrought iron candelabras hanging from the ceiling which you will become very well acquainted with almost immediately as you look around and then go face first into one uh you're gonna take five points of of headache damage which will go away at the end of the scene because this is just for my benefit uh and christine did you pass Uh, it's just in the chat, so 10. 10, exactly. So you, yeah. so basically, I, the way I'm picturing this is that- It will that, always be exactly because I have a zero on this. So Lady Alessandra will walk inside and go, oh, and just kind of duck out of the way. And Carmilla will go, what? And walk right into it. <laughs> oh, she's too busy focusing on making sure her sword doesn't knock anything over. <laughs> oh, oh. You're right. Yes, there are just used to higher ceilings. My apologies. I I hope I hope I didn't break anything. She tries to inspect the. Thing. It seems like it's pretty well made. Okay. Well, I hope you didn't break anything either. Um, come on around the table, and uh, so sure enough, the table has enough seats for all of you. Although I will say, Sindri is going to have a little bit of a time balancing on one at first. Each one is about the size of, oh, picture like two bricks next to each other is about the size of the seat, but they don't have arms on all of them. So you can kind of perch like a really bad bar stool. All so basically right. sitting there with like your knees up to your chest kind of thing. Yeah, basically. The tables are a nice solid foot tall, maybe foot and a half. 
And um, as you are sitting there, uh, she will prattle around in the kitchen. Uh, you can hear the sound of a kettle beginning to start uh, boiling. Uh, on top of the uh, on top of the fire, and um, actually probably would already be boiling. You keep something like that in a simmer, um, and uh, she will head back to the table, which is well uh, well adorned with knit doilies and this this brilliant blue and brown uh, runner that looks like it's probably cotton, maybe linen, and uh, it's just very homey in here. It has that smell to it. The old wood, the varnish, the smell of life and old apple pies baked into the walls, and maybe a little bit of pipe smoke. Uh, she'll come yeah, out... It's very comfortable. Sorry. Well, thank you very much. I tried to keep it so. Mm. Ever, ever since my husband passed, it's been uh, well, not the easiest. Mm. Carp's a bit of a handful. Carp! Can you carry out the scones? Yeah, Mama. And sure enough, he'll come out a moment later carrying a couple of heaping um, for Anthea. Perfectly sized scones. For everyone else, they're like the Starbucks mini scones. <laughs> and uh, the uh, I hope you don't mind. That's uh, strawberry and cream. That sounds good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That sounds delicious. Thank you. I gotta share that recipe later because um, I have a great recipe for strawberry and cream scones. That sounds really good. <laughs> it's really good. No, uh, ma'am, I hope this isn't um, too familiar. But do you happen to know Radoth? I I know Radoth. She slides into the head of the table, and what um. What it, brings it, you no to nefarious her? purposes. Um, Carmilla is used to stepping on her back foot on these kind of things. Mm. Um, no, we are. Uh, we were traveling for Gundren Rockseeker, mm. and we uh, unfortunately have. We believe he has been kidnapped. Uh, we are trying to find his brothers, um, Nundro mm. and Thardin. Um, and uh, we we unfortunately don't know this area very well, and we were hoping to find someone that did, and we assumed a, a druid living in this forest. Uh, from what we have heard, perhaps that is incorrect, but I, I think that's where they're from. Uh, we were mm -hmm. hoping if they could not perhaps find the brothers for us and give them a message, or perhaps help us find them ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if, if you have contact with, with them, with Redoth, uh, it would be very helpful to get in touch. Well. You seem like decent folk. So, tell you what. Radoff comes and goes as she pleases. She pretty much roams the entire region. Good hundred miles or so. But, um... It's true. She would be the right one to look for. There's not an inch of the land she doesn't know over the entire hundred mile. Um, I know that recently she was doing some work. She um, she likes to try to tend the landscape, make sure that everything stays in balance with nature. And she's headed up to a place called um, Thunder Tree, uh, just west of Neverwinter Wood. Uh, anybody who wants to make me a history roll can make a roll about Thunder Tree. Can I pull out the map we were looking at? You absolutely can. Sense? You absolutely yeah, yeah. can. Uh, so, Thunder Tree is located... Um, it's going to be a lot of backtracking, unfortunately, but there are horses and wagons. Uh, so, it is... Thunder Tree is located right next to Neverwinter Wood in the north. There a dirty 20. A dirty 20. It's so dirty. You should clean it's it so off. so dirty. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, which also, I've know. rolled garbage already so far this game, so I had to open up my tiny cauldron. Oh, it's so cute! That, that holds my single die, and it's been sitting cooking in here, so I'm hoping it has cooked well. It's Anthea-sized. Oh, God. Exactly. That's so cute. Um, all right, so um, with a dirty 20, you're going to know that uh, it Thunder Tree was a town near where the Neverwinter River emerges out of Neverwinter Wood. It's abandoned. 
It was once a prosperous community, wealthy from uh, wood cutting, trapping, the forest basically provided everything it needed. However, about 30 years ago, the eruption of a nearby mountain laid waste to it. In the wake of the natural disaster, people left and a plague swept over the area, killing or driving off those who survived the eruption. Now, it's not really talked about, but with a dirty 20, that is going to be high enough to know that there are rumors that the plague caused some strange occurrences involving the undead. That those who sometimes died did not stay dead. Um, and nobody's been back since, really. It would make sense that a, a druid would want to check in on this place from time to time. Uh, if, if no one, or I, I suppose if, if it's just me and, um, uh, me and Anthea that know that about the undead, she'll probably sort of make eyes a little bit at, uh, Anthea for a sec and then <clears throat> not mention the rest of it. Um, yes, well, uh, Lyric, um, how far off is this place? Be about miles. here. No point on the map. So we basically would have to go Ooh. back to Neverwinter along the high road, and then cut off to the east. It's a bit out of the way. Yes. Well, um, it is our best lead, though. We could uh, travel east along through uh, to Coneyberry. And then across Neverwinter Wood, if we can, if there's a path through, um, that at least gets us sort of in the same direction. We don't have a map, though. I think that's a. I'm not very good at that. I don't know. You might be good at that, but I'm not very good at that. I think that's a little. I don't know. You know, but... if you're headed through there, uh, I would suggest maybe checking in with um, uh, with the man who owns the orchard around the way. Uh, there an elder man. He's an old drow adventurer. He might he might have something that could help you through the woods. Hmm. Oh. It's it's worth asking. Those of you we, we... Who, who were there burying the goblin, uh, who were burying Curd, will remember that there was a drow watching you from the orchard. We saw him earlier this uh, today. Uh, it might be. We could go. To, we could go talk to him. Um, we don't have any other leads to find Gundren, so it's hmm. pro that might be our best bet. Yeah, could be good. How's the score? Oh, name? your tea. Your tea. I forgot I about the tea. A few times. She scuttles around and, and pours you each a teacup that is perfectly sized in Anthea's hand, and everybody else Ooh. is like doing like espresso shots of tea. <laughs> uh, in response to Lyric's comment about how this drow farmers come up a few times, uh, say, well, it is a terribly small town. Is that not how small towns work? Just there's only so many people. It's, That's generally the way that it is in Vandalin. Not very many people mm. here at all. Mm. But you do tend to know each other's names, and that seems like a good way to be. Yeah, that sounds nice. Are you all from Neverwinter? Yes. yes. Well, I am. <laughs> Most recently. Pass through. Mm. It's most most recently, yes. Most recently. Hmm. Well, Neverwinter's a bit too big for my liking. I like being down here with my cows and my goats and my ducks. I think I'd like this better, too. I, I usually just kind of stayed at home. I didn't really do much, but I mean, I did. I did a lot, but at home, you know. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely, absolutely. Well, if you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. the Red Brands, uh, Card mentioned that they've been giving some people in town some trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, they they moved in about uh, well, just a little under two months ago. Seemed like they were coming here to do some seasonal work, maybe or something like that, but. 
I don't know, in the past month, it's been pretty obvious that they're just here to cause trouble. And it's got the town master scared shitless, if you don't mind me saying so. Mom! It's true, though. He's we a pleasant man, but a bit of a coward. That. You noticed? Yes, we met him. Ah, uh, you've met with Wester? Aye. Wester's a fine man. He's he's a good sort to go have a drink with. But it's that old saying. I would have two drinks with Wester, but I wouldn't ask him to watch my puppy. Well, I have never heard that saying, um, but it, I feel it's appropriate, yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, there are some people out in the world where you would happily let them watch your puppy, but you wouldn't sit around for two drinks with them. Okay. One drink at most. One drink at most. I, I you, you gotta make sure that you stay a little bit fresh and loose. Do you... Hmm. Yeah, they've been causing some trouble. Uh, Slight enough... out of character question. Hmm. Um, how long have... When did the Gundren brothers leave town? Oh boy, if this module was good on time. Uh, so the, the, the Gundren <laughs> brothers... Uh, so the Rockseeker brothers have been gone for a 10 day. Okay, so they've been they not as long as the red brands have been here. That's just yeah. what I was curious. And, and just for those of you who are running this module later, let me tell you that I had to go to the wiki to find how long the red brands were here because the module, uh, no, someone's going to correct me in the comments and say it's on page 32 on subsection H. Uh, however, I couldn't find the damn thing after an hour of looking. So I eventually went to the, it took me four Wikipedia links or four wiki links before I found it. Um, and they've been here for two months, not one month. But we are going with the. They just they they've stepped up the aggression in the past month. Okay, good, good. All right, now that we're on the same page. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, as you were saying, um, so yes, they've been gone for a ten day. Okay. Um. Well, uh, tea has been lovely. Um, sh should we perhaps leave the elder leaves to their day? She'll turn to everybody. <laughs> I think we've got quite. Uh, I've been very grateful for their hospitality, but I think it's it is time we should put the get get hit the old dusty trail, as some planning. like to say. Mm, hit the old dusty trail. Well, it's uh, pleasant to have you. And now I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name there, young halfling girl. Oh, I'm Anthea. It's been very nice, Anthea oh, Briarfoot. Sorry, Briarfoot. Yeah, I don't usually. Oh, I never went to Briarfoot. Thank you. Yes. Never went to Briarfoot's. You own a bakery up there, don't you? A flower shop, actually. My like parents a, like, do. Like a flower shop or a flower shop? Like a blooming flower shop. Oh, we, like, um, like is... these, and she'll rummage and pull out some dried flowers. Oh, those are lovely. Oh, thank you. Mm. I use oh, them very... in um, potions and such. Oh, are you a wizard? No, I just make things. I tinker oh. around with things, and my specialty is potions, but I can do other things, too. It'd be lovely to have... You said that this place is more to your liking. Well, we're always looking for yeah. more settlers here, and I would love to have some, some, you know, some right-sized folk around here. Yeah, this is so nice. She'll warm her hands on the mug some more. Well... Thank you. The amount of dents I've had to polish out of the rafters here, having guests mm. over. Your aunt, for example used to bang her head like crazy. Got to the point where I told her to wear the helmet. Oh! <laughs> but, oh my goodness. But that said, if you want to spend some time here, Anthea, and of course all of you as well, but if you want to spend time around your own folk with your own sized things, yeah, you're welcome to. Sometimes it's nice to have a spoon and a fork and a knife that actually fits your hand and makes and it your feel... Mouth. And your mouth, eh? There's nothing like being at a tavern and ha trying to cut a steak or a, or a bit of chicken with a short sword. Or eat some soup and then it gets all over your face and that's really quite embarrassing. You can't eat a soup. They just give you a small bowl on a stick. It's not a spoon. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, that took me a moment to figure out where you're going with that. Yeah, Actually, I am, I, I am, I am trying to... Uh, um, make a business so i'll talk to you about that later i think my uh friend friends want to um go but we'll talk about that later 
Oh, okay. I see. Well, here, let me I let just me give you this. I need to know around the area with if there's any like buildings available or um people to talk to to create. Last, there's tons of buildings available. Look, Fandelver. Well, Fandelver had a boom a while ago, and everybody moved down to Fandelin. But oh. after the boom died out, then well, they've all. I mean, Fandelin was was nearly abandoned up till about five years ago. Just a few buildings lying around, maybe a smattering, maybe half of what's here. That's why there's so many of those old collapsed ones, like, um, uh, like, uh, up on the hill, uh, the manor there, you know, um, and as she says manor, can I get everybody to make an insight roll? Okay. Oh, Well, got my one out of the way. Oh, Yay, yeah. Nat one. <laughs> 23. Yep. Okay, so... 15. 15? 15. 15. All right, so, uh, Sindri, you're going to, like, be, like, kind of looking around the table, and you're going to take one last drink of your tea and kind of spill a little bit on your beard and just be like, oh, God damn it!" <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of cleaning yourself as you are. Um, Christine, what'd you get? 23. Holy crap. Nice. Um, okay, so, uh, looking at this... Uh, those of you who got 15s, so Carmilla and oh. Anthea, uh, you are both going to notice that um, Carp shifts a little when she mentions the mansion on the hill. Um, Lady Alessandra, you are going to notice the distinctive noise of him swallowing rather hard. And he looks like he wants to say something, Alessandra, but he's just... His mom's right there. <laughs> and he knows better. All right, so corner him later. Yeah, corner him later. Talk to him about things later. Well, let me give you a piece of advice for free. If you're ever at a place like this in somebody's house and it's time to uh, time to be heading out, don't don't just try to excuse yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to put one hand on your leg and you're going to go whoop, and that's usually the sign that you're about to head out. So keep an eye on that. Well, so I get thank you. <laughs> oh, I guess like that? and then. If you hear, oh, I guess I should let you go. Then, uh, well, I guess I should let you go. Yes, it's time for us to leave. Thank you so much. And uh, Sindri will open the door. <laughs> well, thank you for everything. And Carmilla will watch her head, especially. Sounds <laughs> this good. Time. All right, you'll make your way outside. And, um,. As you are doing so, um, yeah, the door is going to shut behind you. The smell of lingering pastries is going to cling to your clothes for a moment. The warm feeling of tea in your belly and that caffeine rush that is very rare in this type of fantasy world is very, very invigorating to you. As you're standing outside looking around at Fandelver, or Fandelin, I should say, uh, what are you going to do? Well, that was unfortunately not as helpful as I thought it would be, but, um... But it was lovely. I think it was pretty helpful. Um, but, um, she mentioned the other person at the orchard? Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, Darian? Mm. Yes. Should we Over go see if we can orchard. catch them? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm we can... We, if we wish, we can avoid heading to the east. We can avoid going to Con Coneyberry and uh, Wyvern Tor along the way. Um, but... I, well, I, I think, unfortunately, um, if if Raydoth is that far away, I don't think we should be going after them at all. I, I think perhaps um, uh, Mr. Edermath will be our best help. Um, if if what we want to do is find the Roxica brothers, is it more important to us to get word to them or more important for us to go after Gundaren if we think that he is in danger? I mean, if I had a captive, not that I would ever have a captive, but if I did, I don't know, I wouldn't be waiting around doing until I do things, you know? So I think we should probably go see Gundaren if we... Try to find Gundren, rather. 
and and I know we don't have much of a lead, but it's possible they did say that the goblins have been working with marauders. It, it could the red ba br could the red brands be those marauders, and would they perhaps have an idea of where this? It's Cragmaw Keep that we're looking for, right? Cragmaw yeah. Keep. Cragmaw Castle. Cragmaw, Cragmaw, Cragmaw Castle. Keep. Right. I thought it was the Cragmaw castle, castle. Yeah. Okay. It is the. It so is. So we're castle. looking. Okay. We are since we are looking for Cragmaw Castle. If that's where we think he is, perhaps these red brands will know. Would uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt? They'd just tell us. Get us another hair. We could intimidate them. I mean, I feel you this could might intimidate not be a them. Good idea. Hey, hey! Oh, you'll hear hello. the sound of footfalls next to you, and Carp will run up from where he climbed out of a window. Uh, <gasps> oh, you're spunky! I wanted to say, I wanted, whew, I wanted to say, you guys have long legs. I wanted to say that um, the other day, the other day, I was out in the woods uh, um, playing knights, and I, I found a tunnel in a thicket. Um, there were a couple of big scary bandits that came out of it. Oh. And they didn't see me, um, but it was close. I, I think, I think, I think that it, it, it's in the woods to the south, and I think that it it goes the tunnel pointed toward, um, toward the manor. Okay. I, I, I think okay. they've got a secret base underneath it. And the manor isn't where the red brands are staying, correct? We don't know uh, anything about the manor. I thought we they were sta the red brands are staying somewhere. Oh, they're uh, they spend a lot of time at the sleeping giant um, uh, tap room. Okay, and, and I forget if someone mentioned hill. at the bottom of the hill. Yes, and I'm not That's sure if if anyone has mentioned that the Tresendar Manor is where they seem to be potentially hanging out. But we heard a they... little bit about that in the first inn we stopped in. Oh, oh that's um, right, that's right. Okay. You did, you did. It's um, only been a week. We could... Car... Carp, that's very brave of you. Mm. Not really, I ran. Sometimes that's the bravest thing you can do. That I'm you brave told as us hell. later. You are. Well, that's a spicy word. How old are you? Eleven. Oh, okay. Could you tell us where this tunnel is? Yeah, um, uh, sure. It's um, if you head into the woods, um, it's um, about um, I guess uh, probably about forty or fifty of your feet away from where where the hill kind of matches up, um, kind of next to some old logs that kind of look. Um, they've kind of fallen over and there's this old tree that kind of it's dead but it's hollow and it, its top kind of looks like a throne like if you really kind of squint at it and you're really bored mm. on a, on a work mm. day when you're kind of slacking off um, <laughs> but it's pretty easy to see it's right along a deer trail thank you it's very detailed I'm very detail oriented you should probably climb back in the window before your mom notices you're gone, hey? Oh, you don't want me to go with you? Carp, where the heck are you? There's you dishes to do. We had guests over. There we go. Uh, Sindri will... Mm, I was going to say give him a coin, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Here, Chris Pie Five. <laughs> <laughs> do, not, do not bribe them for, uh, for doing the things they do. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll give them a silver. Like, thank you. Oh wow! Do not tell your mom the, where why I gave this to you. I won't tell her that a strange man gave me money. No, I exactly. Won't. Perfect. And that's a lesson everyone could learn. Uh, pointed. All looks. right, bye. I'm gonna go be brave, and he runs off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so are we going for the tunnel? We said we wouldn't cause any trouble to the Stone Hills with the Red Brands. Did we? <laughs> we we did. <laughs> Krista doesn't remember. Uh, we, I, we specifically said we wouldn't start start trouble while we're staying with them. We don't want to bring trouble back to them. Trouble if we completely stamp them out. But I agree that we should probably figure out where 
Well, I'll stand like by how to find Gundren first, maybe, and then. So let's go talk to the drow. Mm-hmm. And then we could always overthrow a bandit group. Could we? Oh my goodness. Oh, we Carmilla is just like non-violent. Full, full like jaw dropped. Well, negotiations. Why would why would you do that to people who have already proved that they will use violence against innocent people? That seems because pointless. I don't want to have violence used against me. We'll have yeah, two plans. Work. Not with already violent people. Well, well, why don't we try to talk with them? Well, we could do both. Try to talk with them, Lyric. If that doesn't work, then we'll try your way, oh, so Lady you Alessandra. Talk to them. As a distraction yeah, so, so that we could sneak up on them. Uh, or because it doesn't work. Them that we're coming and then they're prepared for us. Oh. So you're just going to make sure that no one's watching them? <laughs> make me a perception roll. Mm. Uh, 23. 23. Um, you are seeing that there are several several of the town people nearby. There's a couple of people just working back fields, doing basic chores and things like that. But you guys are a bunch of strangers standing in the middle of the road talking about things. Not super loudly, but it's obvious you're having a conversation that is a bit um, interesting. We should probably take this somewhere private. Okay. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Should go. go speak to Mr. Edermat. Yes, please. All right. So you make your way over toward the Edermath Orchard. Uh, and as you do so, uh, you're going to see that there is an old drow, older anyway. I mean, he's an elf. He doesn't really age the way that normal people do. Uh, but his skin is that kind of pale purplish blue and is um he's wearing this large straw hat that kind of keeps him in shade um and is out working the orchard with um just kind of checking the trees over uh doing a bit of pruning with a pair of of shears um on a long stick with a cable in the middle of him you know one of those pruning pruning poles i think they're called and uh, is just going and clipping and clipping and clipping as you head over. What do you do? Excuse me, sir. Hi. He says. Hello. Sorry, are you, um, there in Edermath? That I am. Hello, I'm Carmilla hey. Erozarin. Um, we are interested if you... We are looking for the Rockseeker brothers, that, not Gunder and the other two that apparently left about ten days ago. We believe they are somewhere in the forest and are hoping to find them um, in hopes of getting help to find their other brother. Is it possible that you would be able to help us navigate the woods? You're headed through the woods. Hmm. Never went to woods, I presume? Yes, sir. That's the plan currently. Hmm. Are there we many woods Gundren's around being... here? You believe what? Uh, we believe Gundren's being held at uh, Craigmark uh, Keep. Castle. 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 <laughs> well, what is a keep but a castle by another name? Craigmark Castle. Well, the name is not familiar to me. And we were hoping me. to find his brothers as well that I believe are nearby. They might be the Just word a... that people go look for stuff in them hills uh, prospecting uh, surveying thank you <laughs> either way <laughs> we believe they are prospecting and we're hoping to find them hmm. yeah if you're looking to make your way through never went to wood i could probably help you yes um your adventurers or just associates both yeah we seem to be finding ourselves in positions where we're being asked if we're adventurers so i think at this point we're getting very close to being adventurers <laughs> yeah, i'm not sure saw. where the line is drawn that's true, right yes isn't that just the way it is it was like that in my youth as well that's how i got tied up in the whole adventuring game to begin with oh hmm 
So this is how that works too. So now I know how to make friends and now I know how to become an adventurer. Well, that's a lot of things that I'm learning already. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the arch is good for the day. He'll brush himself off and come back to oh, my wait, house. He said whelp and then patted himself. Are we supposed to let him leave? Oh, sorry for, for, for keeping you. What? He was inviting us back. I think he was inviting us to go talk to him further. Oh. Oh. That would be nice. My hand wasn't on my leg. Yes, please. Can, how about you come Oh, that's here. very important. Okay, I have to write that down. Because it's about getting Oh, the up. position it's... of the pat is the... Okay, oh. understood. I, sorry, I, I forgot it had to be the leg. The humans around here follow a number of strange much. customs. Wait till you learn the magic of the ope. Ope. Yes, it's a catch-all. What did I just do? Oh. You just bumped into someone and then made a noise kind of like stepping on a dog's tail. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Okay. okay. Exactly. You see my point? Anyway. I do. Oh. Oh. Now you've got it. Oh. Uh, you might as well come back and see what I can find inside of my abode. It's not too far. Thank come. Thank you kindly. Uh, Cindy will follow alongside. And he will walk you back over toward his place. Now, the, the Eldermath Orchard is quite... I mean... It's on its way back. Once upon a time, this was a beautiful orchard, you imagine. But... Um, it overgrew itself. Darren is working to kind of clear out the underbrush and cultivate it again, but you're not sure he's having that much luck. He's got a number of scars kind of dancing down parts of his face and hands that are visible in the sunlight. And um, as he is kind of walking, he does walk with a bit of stiffness that are start starting to get into his joints, uh, but with the, the steady motions of someone who is used to carrying a sword, riding a horse, or some other type of creature, perhaps, maybe a little more spider-like, uh, and uh, makes his way back into this small, quaint cottage. The one thing that you'll notice as you enter, any of you have passive perception of 14 or higher, is that the place does not have any type of, su of skylight, uh, the shades are drawn, and it is very kind of gloomy inside. Comfortable, but definitely um, more Carmilla's vibe. A lot of black candles line the walls, and um, there are a number of of trinkets just lying around, weird odds and ends, bits of broken spears, a shattered shield hanging on the wall, part of um, part of a tabard that still has an old blood stain on it is hanging from the wall. Uh, and uh, as he opens the door, he's going to kick his boots off and say, um, shoes off, please. And he's going to run his, uh, his drow toes through the plush carpet in the center room. Oh, well, the rug. It's a large rug. Um, out of character, the dogs are out. <laughs> the dogs are out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cindy will uh, kick his boots off. All right. That's Carmilla will take hers off. And actually, some, like it's probably the first time since meeting any, maybe Anthea has seen it, but her guard is a little bit down and she's like actually a little more comfortable. <laughs> nice. So stepping inside, um, can I get everybody just to make me a perception roll? I can try. You can try. I believe in yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's not bad. Fifteen. That's a two. Seventeen. Thirteen. Sorry. Eleven. 13? No, All I right. lied. Sorry, wrong on the wrong line. Six. Wow, that's great. You you notice that there are things that could be noticed. Failed my perception roll to find perception on my sheet. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. There. That's okay. okay. I rolled a two. I'm fa I'm I'm finding your sheet thinking it's mine. All right. So um so that was a 17, I believe, from mm -hmm. Lady Alessandra. Mm -hmm. All right, as you step inside, you are going. 15. That was 15. me. I had a 17. Okay. So the two of you are going to notice a couple of things inside. Um, you are going to see that there is some some mail 
on a nearby table. Looks like scrolls or parcels that have been delivered recently and not cleaned up. Um, it looks like there is a package of cookies from from um, Neverwinter that were delivered uh, from a bakery, Anthea, that you actually know. Friends of the family, an elven family oh. that that cooks and uh, does some fantastic baked goods. They're very uh, good. Called, yep, yeah, called called <laughs> the Seaside Bakery. And um, as you are getting comfortable inside, uh, Lady Alessandra, both you and Anthea are going to notice that on the mantel next to uh, this kind of like low crackling fire is a small pin like a brooch pin just leaning up against the mantel and it is a pin of a gauntlet holding a sword and i would like both of you to do me a favor and make mm -hmm. me a history roll okay oh no it was not in my books it was not in the books that's an 8 ooh uh, 18. 18. Nice. Lady Alessandra, you are very well versed in things uh, of this nature. That is a pin of the Order of the Gauntlet. The Order of the Gauntlet is a um, an organization who recruits those who exemplify the virtues of honor, vigilance, and righteous zeal. They are they're protectors. They are... Um, basically good aligned adventurers that go out and try to make a difference. The type of people that your family would probably have a decent background with. Okay. Uh, but you will recognize that just kind of being put in a place of honor, almost like someone would put like a medal of honor kind of on their mantle. And um, so that you are going to notice that. Um... Uh, so, uh, as you are standing in his main room, he's going to say, excuse me for just one moment, I just need to check on something. And he will head into the back room, and you'll hear rustling around. Mm. It's a lovely house. Thank you. It's, um, about all that a retired adventurer can afford. I spent most of my money on, um, we'll say more temporary pursuits. Do you spend them on the temporary pursuits or the memories? <sighs> He'll let out a sigh and walk back from the room, usually on the treatments and remedies required afterwards. And, uh, the oh, orcharding yeah. life is what called you away? I've always enjoyed cider. It seems In like this town does, too. <laughs> eh, it's, um, uh... We have many trees. Mm. I've always enjoyed apples, though. What they represent. What they taste like, I suppose. And I do have a special place in my heart for cider and apple pie. Some of the first foods that I ever had when I... Well, came topside. Here. I have a map. Um, it's a bit out of date, probably. Uh, I mapped it probably a hundred years ago. But um, it should give you a shortcut through the forest if you're looking for ways to make it through to... You said that you're looking for where there were camping trails or anything like that? Camping trails, ideally. We're trying to, we are trying to find the Rock Seekers or if anyone knows of the way to Cragmont Keep. Castle. Mm. Castle. I'm sorry. Mm, Cragmont Keep does have a nicer alliteration. Hmm... Unfortunately, I don't know where it is, but that will get you across to Neverwinter. The trek might be a bit dangerous. The woods are not without peril, but following that map, you should be able to make probably twice as good a time as you normally would. Oh. Thank you so much. You're very, very kind of you. Now that said, um... Hmm. You said that you're... Not adventurers, but you kind of are adventurers. What do you I think don't... of this situation with the Red Brands? It seems, um, problematic. You can say that again. 
I believe we have made somewhat of a promise to not make trouble, uh, but I have a feeling Lady Alessandra is not going to be able to keep that promise. Well, perhaps then we should be relocating I from made a promise. where we're currently staying, and then make trouble? Lady Alessandra. Well, truly, is it making trouble for anybody if we actually just do deal with it entirely? She's kind of looks at the ceiling if she says this and not looking at anybody in particular. In our ability to resolve this situation in one fell swoop. It doesn't sound like there's all that many of them, really. Uh, can I try and remember how many it sounded like there were, just in general? Really, from about a dozen, probably, maybe more. I, th I think there were a fair few from what. Well, basically, well, two and a half each. Heard. It's not that bad. I'm only like a half size anyway. And I'm half of us did die fighting goblins, so. Oh, well, yes, but we learned <laughs> stuff from that. We got better. It's It's not that it's not a worthy cause. And I don't think anyone questioned that. But not. if we are, we need to leave the Stone Hill in. That's fine. I have well, a cottage. Someone... So hmm. we should move our things to your cottage. Or potentially leave them at the inn for now. Do what we're going to go do. Did you say you and have when a cottage we come back, we move them. Sorry, what was that? Did you say you have a cottage in town? Uh, I inherited um, Martin Berkels. I would like an insight roll from anyone who would like to make one. Yeah, my rolls are crap tonight. Love it. Dirty 20! Dirty 20! 8. Uh, I rolled no. 16, so... 14. 14? So, yeah. Sindri... 9. 9? Sindri and Carmilla, um, he will make a noise like, oh, which you infer as, oh, okay, obviously they know each other. It's a small town. You know, it's, it's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, the rest of you are going to see that there is a, a look that flashes across his eyes as he makes that noise where it's, and, and the noise itself is not so much a look of a noise of surprise, but a noise of, there's something sad to it or something that he has a bit of internal turmoil to this knowledge. Something is up. And his features are going to darken slightly after you say that. He goes, well, someone ought to make work of their leader. The one they call Glass Staff. Gla Sorry, could you repeat that? Glass Mr. Staff, because he has a staff made of glass, I imagine. So not M Mr. Glass. Not as far as I know. A staff made of glass doesn't sound like it's very durable. You can't, no. like... Tch, 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 it. And I would really appreciate it if someone would go and glass. break it over his head. I was gonna say, you probably should try. That sounds like a worthy goal. Sindri is very <laughs> increasingly tempted by this proposal. The more people ask him to do something about it. Uh, out of, <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, Lady Alessandra, are you okay if the rest of us stay were to stay with you for a few days? Uh, of course, as long as you don't mind that. It's not... I I have no idea what the house is like besides that short visit we took. I don't take up much space, and we halflings do know how to make a cozy home. You just saw that. We can do it. And based on the letter that my aunt left, I feel like that might be a goal that she would support. You, your aunt was a tough woman. She, um, if she was still around, I doubt that we, that the Red Brands would have, um, tried to make such a, um, yes. Um, that said, uh, if you decide to keep going, um, through the woods, um, I do have a favor for you. Nothing for free, after all. Uh, for the price of the map, 
there is there's a place near here and he points at the map kind of up at the uh, kind of up by the mountains to the northeast um right next to off the top of my head uh kind of right near coneyberry if you headed up that way anyway there's a place here called old owl well i've heard stories from prospectors that um someone is digging in the ruins near there and some disturbing reports that several other prospectors have been chased away by the undead. I'm not sure if that might be where the brothers are, but it is a place where prospectors are known to visit. It's only a couple days' march, and it's right on the edge of the woods that you'd be looking for. Anyway, so if you're in the area, I would appreciate if you checked in on it. There's an old watchtower in it that... Um, it's from an ancient magical empire known as Netheril. I worry that the um, I worry that the arcane magics may be active again and causing some trouble. And seeing that we're just a little bit down wind of them, I would um, well, I don't want anything bad to happen to Fandolin. So it was old owl well well. Was well well it's a well an owl well I imagine it, if we it, are in that area it wouldn't any harm to take a small detour when we're already there well especially uh, if maybe that's where the exactly. they were prospecting might be able to mm -hmm. find hmm. some direction or Important it's information. Clues. And, uh, up... Oh, yes, that's a great term for it. Clues. Clues. Mm. Isn't that up mm. near Wivon Tor? Yes. Actually, very nearby. We this were might be the first asked... ask that actually goes along with what we are looking for. I, I, yeah. Um. The nice. the town master, city master, the person who runs the town. Uh, hmm. Mr. Master? Wester. Ah, yes, Weston. Hmm. Weston. He Weston. asked us to look into something around Wyvern Tor. I believe there were mention of bandits? Ruffians? Wouldn't be surprised if they were tied in with the Red Brands. Is that also where this Wave Echo Cave is? Way back, okay. Or weren't we told? I have it written the down. Of them. It's mythical. Oh, the myths of it. Yeah. Okay. Is that who knows also where it what is? It is to be? Perhaps I mean, this entire region. That's... Mm -hmm. Please. That's why it's a myth. I'd say you don't know. It could be anywhere. Well, if there's an, don't want to it. It. an, an it's... ancient magical ruin. It's been uh, mything might... for quite some time. <laughs> oh, that's a very good one. Might be uh, connected. It's worth looking into. Well, okay. you are welcome to the map. Stop by, and if you can guarantee that there's no um, nothing harmful. At the old owl well, I might have something else that can help you on your further adventures. As Thank you very much. Mm. Of course. Well, I'm sorry that I can't help you with anything else, really. Thank you very much. You have been great, greatly helpful. Sindri will slap, look around before, like, very in intentionally. Well, we better be going. Thank you so much. Oh, you did that so well. Yes, it's a normal thing people do. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's your. Oh. I've never yes. seen anybody do that before. We ha we've been traveling together. We haven't okay. left each other's company for like four days. I do. Well, I feel like to be normal, it would have to be the thing at least two of us knew, and I think you're the only one who knew about it. No, I well, also knew. I thought this was a bit. 
No. Are you rolling? No. Oh my good. Oh, Tina. Listen, what, Sindri's, it, Sindri's it, getting up like and acting. going. I mean, to be fair, we're not very worldly, go. obviously. Opening the door. Uh, Thank don't you let me very keep much you. For your time. Let's go. Oh, that means we have to go. Uh, well, thank oh, you hello. for um, the map and the information, and we will see you again. I hope so. Is Be safe out there. We will. Thank you. And she'll scurry, <laughs> scurry out the door. All right, scurrying out the door, you will find yourselves out in the big, wide world of Phandalin. And uh, what's the plan? You step out onto the street. Where are you headed next? Secret tunnel. Okay. <laughs> is, is, is it secret tunnel time? Are we going to do this? I think it's secret tunnel you time. You do the secret Perhaps tunnel time? Perhaps we should get our things oh. and go to, to Lady Alessandra's house. It just sounds awfully exciting, but I suppose the secret tunnel is not going anywhere. If it is a very secret tunnel, it might be. If you, <gasps> we will have to see. If we wait That's for incredible. nighttime while they're uh, they're out at the tavern, we might encounter less of them in their in their hideout. Oh, you have good thinking. Point. So we should just deal with them right away before going to look for Gundren. But yeah. Do we well, just need to hand you something to fight? I mean, I think that's how you get better at fighting. Well, yes, with with practice, but... Okay, let, so... Let us, let us hold okay. this conversation until we are in private, perhaps? Okay. We have been speaking a little too openly. And as I can direct down. you towards a tree if you need to hit something. <laughs> And as you're saying that, and you're walking down the street, in front of you, you'll see your step several armed, surly humans that look like they've been waiting for you. Their scarlet cloaks are grimy, and they place their hands on their weapons as they watch you. One of the ruffians spits on the ground. Hey, you've been asking too many questions. Time for you to move on, strangers, and give us your stuff. And then fuck there off. A number of questions no. that is permitted? And what uh, is that number? That's a good question. What? What do you mean? Alessandra just says we no just and draws her sword. Said <laughs> there were too many questions. We asked too many. So how many was too many to, to know when to, to stop? We're new, new in town. Four. How many? How many four. guys are there? Oh. There are four of them. Uh, oh. Sindri will st uh, step up beside uh, Lady Alessandra and square up. Okay. Uh, All right. I think Carmilla will do the same, and I would like to just intimidate them. All right. Uh, so go ahead. You can make me an intimidation that? roll, and we'll see how this goes. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I do it with help? Because everyone is kind of doing the same thing. This is bad. Uh, Sure, but I'm going to roll to resist because they're very stupid. <laughs> okay. Woo. Uh, so that's a 17. That's a 17. Ooh. <laughs> Did they just make it? They're going to pause for just a moment looking at you. Look, we'll let you out of here if you leave your stuff. Yeah, give us your stuff. No, I need my stuff. I said... No. And she's going to enter what a defensive stance. <laughs> Skewer this bitch! And let's roll initiative. Hey. Oh no, why? It's not very nice. <laughs> Caitlin, I love, I love the vibe right there. Thank you for that. Thank you. I rolled a three, so I get a four. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, great. Four or five. <laughs> five. <laughs> Perfect. I think Alessandra's just like... three. I'm not even going to contemplate giving my stuff to them. Yeah. So what's the point in talking at this rate? They've stated their terms and I've denied. <laughs> oh, you're loving playing a paladin, aren't you? Yeah, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh, were you also showing your three? I oh, rolled no. some threes as well. I was well. showing my okay. nat one. Oh, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, initiative, I have Sindri with a 20. 
I have Alessandro with an 18. I have... Ooh, I have a tie game there with Thug 1. Then I have Thug 2, followed by Carmilla. And now we're going to drop to the bottom of the initiative with everybody else. I have Anthea with a 5. I have Thug 3. And... Lyric with a four, and right at the bottom, I have Thug Four with wow, a three. Some of them rolled real bad, too. <laughs> they rolled real bad, and I don't have any hurt the moors. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so um, let us go ahead and switch over to our overlays. All right, they are standing in the road directly in front of you, blocking your path. As you see them, it is going to be Sindri's turn. Sindri, you can act before they can. Lady Alessandra, let's do this. And he'll sprint forward. Uh, he can move 40 feet, which he doesn't need. Beautiful. Uh, 10, 15, 20. Uh, he is going to use uh, his uh, cutlass, his short sword, make his first attack. Okay. And I'm going to roll it off the table. That's the best place uh, to roll. And that's going to be a 25 to hit. Oh my god, that's that's several hits. Go ahead. And uh, that's going to be 10 points of damage. Oh, damn. Uh, all right, that first hit almost takes uh, the woman in front of you's head off. Like, it just snaps her head back. Teeth are going to fly into the air. Um, oh, pardon me, you're using your scimitar. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so that's going to open this deep gash across her stomach. Uh, she's still on her feet, though. What do you do? And uh, is so uh, Also, quick question. Is everybody fighting to kill, or are you just trying to knock out? No, uh, knock out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use my one of my key points to use for uh, Flurry of Blows, so two uh, martial arts attacks. So I'll try for my okay. first one against them. And that's going to be a 16 to hit. That is a hit. All right, so that is... That's going to be six points of non-lethal damage. All right, so how do you do it? Uh, so he is going to, like, kind of rein himself in a little bit because he realized that he does not want to kill them. Grab grab them by the hair and just knee them square, break their nose, and just throw them on the ground. She's going to go down like a sack of flour. Just... Uh, and then look at the next one beside him, beside her. And you son of a bitch! Flub the next attack, so that's going to be a ten. That's a 10. Uh, it gets real close. Uh, your fit, your fist foot? Uh, foot. Your foot's going to lash out, almost catching this man right between the legs, but he's going to jump out of the way, having been in a bar fight or two in his day. Hey, you knock it off, you punk. Uh, and Alessandra and this thug are going to go next. Okay. All right, so, uh, Alessandra, what's your plan? I am going to move up to this other... The other here. lady at the north? Okay. Yes. And attack. All right, go ahead. Uh, and the red brand brigand that Sindri just tried to kick is going to level an attack and take a swing at him as well. So let's do simultaneously. Oh, God. Does a 10 hit you? My work class is 17, so probably not. Okay, so he le draws a short sword, leans in, and this is the most, like, basic training at the dojo type of dodge you've ever had to do. You just kind of... Uh, all right. Well, meanwhile, Lady Alessandra, what happened to you? Uh, I you rolled a 15. That is going to be a hit. Roll yeah. me damage. Uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. How do you do it? Um, I think she I think maybe goes to like stab to one side and when they dodge pulls a pommel into the side of their head instead. And she drops like a sack with 11 damage. Yeah, she's down. Excellent. And I am going to step back then next to 
Sindri. And as a bonus action, enter a defensive stance. Sounds good. All right. Uh, thug number two is going to see that you just knocked his friend down. Uh, and the, the red band ruffian with the goatee, uh, who was uh, kind of standing in the back and sneering, is going to go toward you and lunge at you. Did he just you're... move through where that other one was? So through a five foot square next to me into the one next uh, to it? He would have had to to reach you, yes. So he's going to jump toward you going, hey, nobody hurts my friends. And is going to launch um, at you. I make a melee attack with my reaction. Yes, you may, please. For a total fighter. Yep, because I'm allowing you to use that unearthed arcana. Nice. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 to hit is a hit. Roll me damage. Uh, that is 10 damage. 10 damage? Uh, you are going to... How do you hit him with this? Um. Well, if he's lunging forward, that feels like maybe he's kind of going lower. Yeah. And he's, he's trying to do a low swipe. He's yakking at me. So I think she'll dodge the swipe and just pommel hit him in the jaw. Okay, so there is a crack as you dislocate his jaw and he's gonna let out a scream and try to stab you. Okay. Does a 13 hit you? No. Okay, uh, do you have a shield or do you just parry this out of the way? I okay, do so have a shield. So he's gonna try and you're just gonna easily be able to brush his blow aside with your shield. And Carmilla, it is your turn. Uh, well, I am going to draw a sword and run up to this gentleman that's next to Sindri um, and take a swing. Uh, that's not great. We're back at it again, folks. Best fighter in the West. Um, that is going to be a, an 11. That is a hit. Totally. Roll me damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Welcome to Amazing. level two, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that's at least good damage. That's ten damage. Um, how do you do it? Because what? Uh, what, are, what are they fighting with? Because Cinder, you already hit this guy once, right? Or yes. You... So yeah, you've yeah. already hit him once. Um, so or no, wait, you missed. You tried to hit him in the junk. Right, because I knocked the other one out first. Okay, never mind. My, I've got my math backwards. Uh, uh, so you're in that case. I will take another attack. <laughs> You'll action surge? Uh, I'm going to action surge for the first time. Do it. See how we do. Do it. Do the thing. Oh, go in the house. Not going to do that that time. What do you got? That was a two. Okay, that probably was not going to hit. <laughs> no, a five isn't going to hit, I assume. Five not is not going to hit, no. All right, so <laughs> launching yourself forward, you are going to hit him with the first blow. Um cranking him nice and hard across the face with the are you um are you slashing or are you trying to blunt edge yeah I'll, I'll blunt okay so you're gonna smack him right across the face this line of blood is going to be dripping down down his scalp uh and he's gonna be kind of like unsteady on his feet and you're gonna see that like he's kind of like looking behind him at the trail and kind of getting this uh, even though you missed that second hit, it was way too close to his neck for his comfort. Uh, and with that, Anthea, it is your turn. All right, let's go hook and we'll throw a fireball. Firebolt, firebolt, firebolt. <laughs> okay. God, gosh dang it. It's a small thing. Okay. Just the fireball. fear on everyone's face. Now, fireball. now I'm going right to tell you this out of character. Spells yes. usually can't be non-lethal. Oh, okay. But that um, said, uh, if this is something that you think that Anthea would do out of like fear and like and reflex, just do it. Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, do it. Let's do, Let's it. do it. Okay. Uh, are you attacking? Well, I mean, the one that, hit the, anyways. Are you attacking oh. the one that Ella is fighting, or the one that Sindri and Carmilla are fighting? You know what? Maybe the one that Ella's fighting. Okay, sounds good. Make me an attack roll. Okay. Wait. I don't think it's going to hit anyway. I think that's just an eight. That's just an eight. Uh, what's your proficiency bonus right now? Plus five. Oh, oh no. So, uh, no, no, two? no. Um, oh, I guess I have determination, hey? It's a plus yeah. two. So that's plus two. still mm -hmm. not going to hit. That's still not so, going to hit. All right, no, so um, you... 
you hurl a vial of fire that's going to like lance by this one's face. Oh, rats. I miscalculated. What the hell? Throw a fire! Uh, Lyric, it is your turn because the other thug is unconscious. What do you do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um. I'm gonna cast sleep. Okay, let's uh roll your sleep. Okay, one sec. Okay, so roll I have real low. <laughs> five. Okay. Yeah. I can't be slept. And neither can uh Lady Alessandra. No, no, just me. Just you. Lady Alessandra is still technically an, an ASMR, even though she got the pointy ears. I just look like a half elf. So one sec. I think I can do up to thirty-one hit points in. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah. I spent a something, or pardon me, I spent a hurt them more. Um, yeah. So I lied to you. The one that Alessandra took out isn't actually <laughs> completely out. She is she is trying to get the jump on Alessandra. Um, grabs her sword from the ground and tries to stab Alessandra in the leg, but rolled so badly that your Ooh. sleep attack, your sleep effect is actually going to hit first. Uh, so let's do some math. Uh, that is going to be, um, she kind of goes Nyah! and passes out next to your feet. The one that you were mm -hmm. locked in combat with Alessandra is going to stagger for a second and go, they're throwing fire and hit the ground. And then the one that you're fighting is like, come on, I can take all of you. <laughs> and is going to fall asleep. And let's do some math. Ooh, that is going to be... Wait, how many, yeah, how many, how many points? points are left? 31. I rolled several sevens. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. So, um, everybody who is in that cluster of Carmilla, Sindri, and Alessandra, what are your hit points? Hmm? Well, uh, it's people like... 19. I Does it... choose. No, I don't know. It says that in the spell. You're right. Yeah, it it's literally everyone. So does anyone have <laughs> yeah. 15 hit points right now? No, I have 17. <laughs> okay. So you used you used 16 hit points to put those guys to sleep. So, all right. Um, with, with a triumphant snore, the battle ends as the red brand ruffians collapse to the ground. Nice. Okay, so we have about a minute before they, the the effect ends. So we should right. perhaps tie them up or or finish knocking them out. Nicely done, Lyric. Tie that them up. a very good job. I think tying them up would be a good and idea. Get them. Oh, that's... and we should probably figure out where to put them we'll so that they can't warn the, the compatriots. They don't get tipped off, but they won't get unwrapped. I was know. there a jail mentioned in the town hall? Uh, as you were inside of town hall, you noticed that there were a couple of cells in it at the back, mostly drunk tanks. Y you know what? That works just fine. Uh, Sindri will start. Will gather their their weapons. Will we be having to walk through town carrying them? That was Not... my thought. Well, luckily, it's a small town. Is there a cart nearby? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens to be sitting there unused. So from where you are right now, you were up at uh, at the Eldermath Orchard, which means you're heading around uh, the smithy at the top, uh, right next to the provisions, which means you'll have to walk right through Town Square. Um, you actually, Barthen's provisions did have a card at it you could borrow. Just give, give me a, a moment. I'm just going to go and, and Lyric's going to want like kind of run off and go grab a cart. Oh. <laughs> uh, and hopefully with a tarp or something over top if there is one sitting around so, sounds good uh, Lyric you're going to make your way over toward Barthen's provisions and as you are over there you're going to kind of like be grabbing the cart and uh, kind of like just just about to walk off with it when uh, you are going to hear the back door open and um, Elmina Barthen uh, is going to kind of lean out the back and go. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, could I just borrow this? I'll bring it back in a moment. Sure. What do you need it for? I need to carry a heavy load. All is right. This sort of unwieldy. What? All right. Just bring it back. It's all good. We will. Thank you. All right. 
and you will wander back over to where these guys are waking up. Now, are you tying them up with any rope or anything? Yes. Hey. I, I do have I do have rope. I have rope as well. Hey. What's the big idea? Hey. Hey. It's not bondage night. You tried to rob us, stupid. Yeah, give us your stuff. No, wait, does that make me the bad guy? I'll I mean, yeah. we already have their weapons. Hey, give I mean, those back. Self-preservation. How about no? And if you don't stop talking, I will actually knock you out. So save yourself a headache, yes? I already have a headache. Well, I can give you a worse one. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. Why ain't Are you, you with guys? The red yeah. Yeah, we're the red brands. And what are you doing in town? We 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 run this place. Yeah, we run this place. These are the and most what? annoying people we've met so far. I it's thought, true. I thought Wester. Mr. Wester run, ran the place. I think you just think you run the place. Wester? But you don't run the place. One of the girls will say, Wester doesn't run shit. Oh. That bloated stuffed shirt. <laughs> he don't know nothing about nothing. We and run this place. Like, do you know? I don't we, believe they know anything, really. I think they're just probably about? nothing at all. All right, make me persuade it Sounds like they talk a big game. Make me a persuasion roll with advantage for the for the game you're doing there. <laughs> Go ahead if you want. If you want. Uh, sure. I have persuasion actually. So do it. Oh, and an advantage. Excellent. Let's add the chaotic Krista sparkly dice to it. Do it. One. And it rolled a nat twenty while the other one rolled a one. So. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, so that is twenty five for persuasion. What do you mean, what do we know? We know all sorts of stuff. Glassstaff tells us all the important stuff. I don't believe it. We're running this place because the spider needs us to. Yeah, the spider needs us to. And the spider needs the goblins as well? The goblins? I think he needs them more than they need you. You don't know shit. We don't ally with goblins. Goblins just sometimes, like, do some odd jobs, okay? The spider's real powerful. And that's why he's hired us to frighten off adventurers like you, intimidate the locals, and other things, etc., etc. Now you tell him, sister. Why would he want you to do... Why would you, they want him to do, to do that? Well, I don't know. But we're important enough that he sent some bugbears to back us up. Yeah. Or you're not good enough and he thought you needed the bugbears for backup. If he didn't think we were good enough, why would he give us that horrible eye monster to guard the compound? Because you're not good enough and you needed a horrible eye monster to guard the compound. Which is where? Oh, wait, maybe she has a point. <laughs> It is, a, it, is, it is a pretty pretty hideous eye monster. Yeah, he can. Look, uh, we're never going to tell you. Yeah, you're never going to get, you're never going to get the information of our secret hideout beneath the manor out of us. You're clearly well, much stronger than we anticipated. <laughs> I suppose we can convince you, but. Yeah. And yeah, that's right. Hang them up. And we're uh, gonna. Hey, wait, was that not even finished? That you weren't even finished tying <laughs> that knot. No. Damn it. We were free this entire time. Well, that's capitalism was, for you. Uh, we should get you to your accommodations, and uh, we could deal with these bugbears. Wait, are we staying at the Stone Hill? We're not staying at the Stone Hill. They're gonna send us to like the drunk tank. I ain't been drinking. Watch. If we give you a drink, will you shut up while we go take care of the rest of our business? Oh, yeah. I have a very crippling alcoholism. Love that for you. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Lyric, do you mind bringing your, uh, the car around as I, like, march them into the wagon? 
All right. As you march them in the wagon, start to wheel them off. You're going to hear the uh, the guy with the busted jaw go. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't we we didn't mention about the prisoners. Yeah, good one. We'll never know about the prisoners or the skeletons. And which prisoners didn't you mention? The ones that are being guarded by the skeletons. Shut up. We're having a private conversation. Oh no, skeletons! I would like to That's loom terrifying. over them. That's so... There is no private conversations here. I would say that really constitutes a hostile division. work environment to make you work with skeletons. But they don't do much. Have you considered unionizing? <laughs> bare bones operation. Dude. Twelve. You're a spooky bitch. And I'm, and I'm still sleepy. And why would we unionize? Oh God, you have nightmares. Look, well, the last guy that tried to that. unionize, oh, where do you where do you think we got the skeleton from? The union? No, Glassstaff turned him into a skeleton. Uh, Sindri will look over to Lyric and say, now we have to deal with him. Is Glassstaff, does his staff raise the dead? Uh, it does all sorts of stuff. He's Is a powerful that... wizard. Just made a glass? Really? Yeah, I think it's made of glass. Magic glass? Or just It glass? could also be made of, like, Sar Sar Sarkovsky crystals. Whoa, okay. Well, those are very two, di two very different things. I mean, glass is glass, really. I mean, like, grass, glass and crystal. They're different. They're well, yeah, I know they're different, different okay? I've been they're in enough china habits. shops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Interesting. Did we just reveal everything? No, you didn't tell us um, your, 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 your glass staff's weaknesses. Hmm. So you're you're very I mean, good henchman. I would assume. I actually don't know if he has any weaknesses. What do you think? I mean, I would assume knives. Yeah, probably knives. Knives are my weakness too. Where's that drink? Uh, Sindri will pull uh like get, pass him his wine skin and just like give him a little little sip. Oh yeah, that's generational trauma. Yeah. Um. Does, has, is the spider staying with you at all, or is uh, spider staying? No, 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 no. He's got his own place. He's got his own place. It's, I hear it's real nice. We're going to go there once we uh, dominate the locals. Have a big party. Like a, a big manor? Or, 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 a, or a keep? Some sort? Yeah. I, uh, probably. Probably. Or a castle? Maybe a castle. Maybe a, maybe a web. Oh. A web of, a a web of, of sense. shadows. Can I have some more of that wine? Yeah, here you go, bud. All right. Man. And <laughs> sorry, we made it to the jail. <laughs> you are making your way to the jail. Uh, as you make your way to the jail with these idiots, I think that is our time to take a quick break. So, folks, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back, everybody. This is the part of the program where we're going to talk to you, the chat. Uh, also, before we do that, it's it's time. Uh, Christine, can you set up exclamation mark Fandelver? Already done. All right, everybody. Um, exclamation mark Fandelver to win. Everybody type that in here if you're watching uh, right here, right now. And I'm going to pin that. Boom. There we go. 
hopefully I spelled it right this time. Um, and boop. All right. So, hey, everybody, this is the part of the program where we're going to talk to the chat. So I uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, anytime I get to do a Patrick Warburton impression, I'm pretty, pretty happy. Oh, yeah. The staff. Glass staff staff. No, he's pretty great. Glass staff. <laughs> yeah, right. Mooks. Uh, Mooks! Mooks! Oh, God. <laughs> so, really exciting developments. Uh, so, uh, speaking of doing mooks, I, I told you guys that um, we, we had somebody from one of the voice acting groups that I uh, that I'm in and that uh, that Robin does some voices for too, uh, like uh, Evangelion Abridged and some other ones. Um, and they're doing one coming up of Batman Under the Red Hood. And I think I was talking during one of the previous episodes about how I screwed myself because I was like, ah, so I ended up getting both the Joker and Black Mask. I didn't get Batman. So I'm doing two different voices in there, not three. Uh, but then, uh, actually, I'm doing three voices, but one of them is a character. I don't even know who the hell they are. It's just like a side character. I'm just going like watermelon, watermelon, watermelon in the back, right? I'm just doing Walla, probably. Uh, but... Uh, they were in need of a young Jason Todd, and I just happened to have a friend who's a who's a an emerging voice talent uh, over in this game. Who would that be, Caitlin? E who? who just shoved a cookie in their face? <laughs> just shoved a cookie in their face. Yeah. So, and Robin got some roles in it too, but also Caitlin just auditioned and got in. So, Caitlin, you're going to be voicing young Jason Todd in that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little brat. I'm so excited. His yeah, voice lines were so good. It's so good. It's so good. And all I can think I would... of is at some point, I just want to do a blooper. Just like all those stupid jokes like Ligma or something. Oh, dude. The, the, so you got to save your bloopers. They're some of the funnest <laughs> things. Um, they're already really funny. They're so they're so good. Um, so I'm actually doing my recordings tomorrow. Oh, God. I have to do Kyle tomorrow night after doing The Joker. I don't know if I'm going to have a voice <laughs> because they want the Mark Hamill Joker, which is really, really all Rapid. over the place. Well, yeah. it's, it's, I'm not going to do the exact voice, but it's the one that we have to go up and down and like this, it's got the wow, 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 or like that. Yeah. But then the other voice I got to do is Black Mask, which is kind of like this, right? <laughs> so just dead voice. I'm going to be fucking dead tomorrow. Drink lots of tea. <laughs> And water. Yep. Oh man. And no yeah. milk. And take all the milk. I'm just gonna drink cream. As soon as you feel any strain. <laughs> and what was that last part, Amy? Take breaks when you feel strain. Oh no, there's no, there's no taking breaks in voice acting. No, you just to do it. <laughs> I um. This was really funny because um in one of the episodes of Love Note. Um, I'm playing this random guy and the whole thing is that he's like a cop, but he's the only person in the show that takes the death seriously. So he's like at 11 full time. And it, it was literally an hour of screaming at people to get out of my way. I'm driving and like punching things and like jogging and oh my God. But the best part is, <laughs> is that like other people live in this house and they're just hearing me scream and scream and scream. It's just, it's funny. That's the that's the one thing that kind of holds me back from like really going in on that, because like my my I, I live with my mom and my stepdad and like we're in a pretty big house, but they hear me laugh and like I know I laugh loud. Your laugh if, is if is I was glorious to... and fills the hills. <laughs> it definitely is that, that it does. Uh, so, no, but I'm I'm concerned that I would with the laughs of Chris. <laughs> there we go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not it's not right unless you yes. have the ha and the wheeze in the yes. same go. <laughs> Kelly, you should have heard Death Ray, Krista, and I at the at the pub. Oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> you were the, you were those three people. <laughs> the three of the loudest, loudest people. Laughs. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, we're all three very belly laughers and like all hanging. I mean, I was hanging out with you guys for like the first time. And so we were just like so into it. <laughs> I told you you were going to have a great time. I told you. Like, you guys are going to be fast friends, fastest friends. Oh, yeah. I, I actually, um, I forget what game it was. I was running a game last week and something happened. I think it was Dragonlance. And I botched a roll on something and laughed 
so hard that like it came out as a hiss like it was <laughs> like christine do you remember what that was it was dragon lance wasn't it like it was during the fight in the air where something happened i, I feel was... like one of them botched something and we really just wrecked them but i don't remember what it was now i think it was but you laughed like i laugh oh yeah like like a drunk seal <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, I laugh hey, to the Christine. point. No, don't do it because I will cry and that will ruin okay. the makeup. <laughs> I laugh till I cry and I laugh where I stop breathing and um, I laugh silently because I can't breathe. Because I'm there. laughing so hard and my nose closes and it's just. It's, it's, a, it's a wild ride. Take yeah. me to Gurch. And sometimes it's over some of the stupidest shit, but it, usually. <clears> yeah. <throat> that uh, is my main laugh. Can I can I point something else out that's amazing that's happening this week? So, um, folks, I got big announcement for you. I was going to take Thursday night off this week, but I'm not going to anymore because Onyx Path Publishing, uh, our our dear friends at Onyx Path, Onyx Path, have a new game coming out called The World Below, and uh, they're sponsoring us to run an actual play of it. So we're going to be running a five session game on the next five Thursdays. So I want you to come and join me. It is going to be amazing. Basically, it's what if the world of darkness had the underdark is how Christine described it when she heard about it. It's what it's it's the underdark world of darkness. Uh, the whole thing is the the idea is that the surface world is damned and nobody lives up there. So we have to go deeper. We have to mine. We have to diggy diggy hole. Right or the beginning of Gurren Logan. It's basically yeah, Gurren Logan mixed Logan. with Made in Abyss. If you know that, which if you don't know Made in Abyss, you should watch it. It's really pretty good so far, but it's harsh. Um, so it's going to be called The World Below. I don't, I don't know. I haven't subtitled it yet. Random. I'm still reading the book. Um, but uh, that is going to be Thursday night. We're doing character creation and listen to this stoked this this stacked cast. They're stoked as well. They're really actually very excited. Um, you could not ask for a more enthusiastic cast of people who were looking at this book and just like freaking out. My messages were blowing up for the last two days. Uh, but it is ready in order that they acquiesced. Trizelta. Cal. Then Diggy Diggy Blog himself. Then uh, I also have a little Krista. And coming out of left field, even though it's going to keep her up till two in the morning, we have Bunny Hearted joining us for it as well oh in bunny God. form. Yo, I, I, I literally the the way that this happened was Kelly messaged uh, those of us in the production crew to say, "Hey, does anybody want in on this?" And I was like, I was the first person that was like, "No, I can't. I I'm working like an hour of overtime every day. I have a contract project I'm working on. I'm in two games. I can't do it." And then Traz added, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, love playing with Traz, but I can't. Then Cal joined and was like, oh, I haven't played with Cal in so long. No, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't. And then Blog got added, and I was like, God fucking damn it. I gotta do it. <laughs> and then right after you did that, I had sent I had sent uh, Millie a message and was like, hey, Bunny, can you do this? And they're like, eh, maybe, I don't know. And I'm like, well, you'd only be till 2 a.m. And they're like, you know what, sure, screw it let's go oh, yeah I'm like... <laughs> only two oh my gosh only till 2 a.m i'll be exciting. very sleepy but i want to play this game so it's a game oh, that's wow. written by uh i believe um the developers matthew dawkins uh as far as i understand uh who has done a bunch of great stuff for onyx path uh good dude ran a game of they came from camp murder lake for me for onyx path con a couple years ago uh which you can go watch i think on their youtube go go watch it i i play a karate oh wow that's a definite different side of me in that game uh enjoy it's got a lot of I, i'm a karate boy who's got a crush on a very uh very physical boy in that game and we go in the tunnel of love and i'm not gonna tell you what happens there but it's uh it's what you expect. Anyway, go go watch that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And come back and watch that this week. Also, this Saturday, uh, our very own friend Brecarius is going to come and run 10 Candles for us. Uh, which I get to be in with Caitlin. And who else is in the game? It's me, you. Cal's in that too, right? Because Cal is just signing up for everything. Yeah, Cal, Cal. Oh, Cal's the other one. Okay. Yeah. I knew it was like, it was it was think... two bros and two and two 
bro adjacents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> which are the which are the bros? Which are the bros? That's the question. I'm a oh, bro yeah, adjacent. Good. Yeah. The, uh, uh, I think I'm pretty bro-y. The Witcher is Gerald. The, I the Witcher Robin's is Gerald. Screaming at you in the chat. What's who's screaming what? in the chat? Robin and me. Second in gamer what? and me. Oh, I yes. am. I was just about to I look. Think I'm assuming that means that Robin <laughs> is in Ten Candles. Wait, is is Robin in that or is is Kel in that? Maybe it's not Kel. I'm oh, sorry. I think you're. I think, <laughs> you're thinking, I, I think you're thinking about the other secret project that we haven't announced. I don't know Ooh. what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. They're the secret project uh, that we're going to announce for for January. The, I don't even Robin, of, I'm sorry. I don't even know what <laughs> that are is. A lot of us. Oh yeah. Speaking of bros, um, in in honor of Carmilla and Anthea's broship. Um, I got something at Michael's that reminded me of Anthea, uh, which is a tiny cauldron candle oh my that gosh. has bright pink bubbles in it. <laughs> that's lovely. That is dope. And I saw it. I was like, that's something Anthea would have in her little shop. <laughs> can I, I love it. Absolutely. Can I just mention how absolutely horrified we all looked when you said I cast Fireball? Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so I was, good. No. I was looking at my at my spell list, so I had no idea what y'all were doing. But I was like, "Fireball, we have fire bolt, 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 bolt. That's bolt. like that. This tiny bolt. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Um, I can't wait till you fireball everybody. It's gonna <laughs> be so good. good. You'll find a way. Learning Kenny Dodge first, please. Probably. <laughs> Um, the other things that I wanted to let everybody know is if you are joining us for the first time, we're about to hop back into game, uh, but we have two, three games that are resuming in November, which is almost November. It is. Sorry, I had oh an existential God. crisis. <laughs> which means it's also almost yeah. my birthday. It's almost your birthday. And really near your birthday is the return of Mage the Ascension of the Victorian Age. And Woo. also uh, coming up real quick is Technocracy. Zero sum is going back uh, because because I didn't forget Robin. Hi, Robin. No, I didn't forget you. Your harvest is now over. So we can start running games, which means you can run <laughs> Panic at the Citadel again. And I can play a witcher named Gerald. I mean, Zugus. <laughs> and I, I can. thought you meant. And I can put mascara on my chest hair so it pops more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Um, uh, werewolf Daddy Witcher? Werewolf Daddy Witcher. I really want to try one of those barrel tubs. I think it looks great. It looks so comfy. <laughs> it looks so comfy. Maybe, maybe, you know, on your trip to Italia. <laughs> there you go. And I... <laughs> I think I'm sure like the best Western equivalent, the best or Westino. Best uh, Western. <laughs> will absolutely have a coffee <laughs> tub. The oh, best no. Western. It's me, a best Western. <laughs> the fantasy. I mean, best is that a Western. spaghetti? Is that like a spaghetti Western? Oh, spaghetti! It's a spaghetti. It's a <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm shutting off your camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need that. Oh, sweet! Really? Can I take my costume off then and just put my jammies back on? It was pajama day at school today. It was pajama day at school. Okay. Pajamas. All right. All right, we got to go kill some people, guys. Let's. Uh... Can, I, can I do a quick plug for a voice acting thing I did? What you did a voice acting thing? Go on. I did. Um, so my I talked about this last time, uh, but it's out now. Um, so uh, my friend Alante, who is going to be joining us uh, for this year's um, extra, extra life, life. is coming up soon. Um, uh, he does a very cool podcast that is part actual play, part uh audio drama where they play an actual play D, &D game uh and then he gets a whole bunch of people to vo do voiceover of the npcs uh which is very cool um but i am uh <clears throat> I'm, i think i have more coming up because they haven't technically met this character yet so these are sort of like inserts of this character um mm. but uh, it's a very cool podcast called our storied insights uh, sorry, singular. Our storied insight. Um, and it's a very cool podcast. There's only seven episodes, so not a whole lot to buy into. They're just monthly, um, but they're on everywhere the podcasts are available. Uh, and I, I show up in episode seven for a very brief time um, as a crazed librarian uh, robot. So Jen. So yeah. Honestly, that's just that's so <laughs> yeah. That's right. So well, they they were that, that is really Krista. 
<laughs> they were they were auditioning for a very like bubbly um a a librarian uh type robot that was very excited to be there and didn't quite blah 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 blah. And oh, so yeah, I had done character. a couple of takes of it and one of them I was like, "No, I don't think this is quite the vibe, but like sexy computer voice saying these lines really tickles me and so i did it all as sexy computer voice um which i used to throw out a lot during our star trek games <laughs> mm -hmm. um and, and they, they were like oh that but you're doing a different character <laughs> that's why i say save your bloopers folks save your bloopers exactly so it, it worked out <laughs> I really want to try making a sexy computer voice now, but it's, it's, hold on. It's just so much fun. It. What you need to do is you it, need to practice your Witcher very, voice. Uh, um, yes, you got to get the Witcher voice. Hey, Chris, it's me, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald Smith. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Gerald Smith from down the street had a. Uh, sorry, I need a lozenge. <laughs> I need. I need. I need. I need a cold shower. I'll be back. All right. <laughs> I'll be oh, in my bunk. I need to get the oh, thank you. You know out. what, Chris? You saying that is a big compliment. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Tr truly, the shower afterwards does need to like hopefully get the paint off my scalp, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I hopefully. So much, so much glue in my hair. <laughs> uh, there's so much, so glue. much gray on yep. my flesh. <laughs> and I know it does look like this is my natural skin color, but I swear it's not. <laughs> All right, so that folks, is it is mail. time for us to head back to game. Uh, we're going to be doing the prize draw at the end of the night. A uh, reminder, you need to stick around if you want to win. So uh, exclamation mark fan Delver to win that really cool dice. Is it an octagon? It's a dice. It's just like a really cool dice bin and roller and many things. It is rad as hell. Okay, you ready to hop back in? Let's do it. Hello and welcome back to Fandelver and Below, here on Dork Tales. After delivering your cargo, pushing the wagon there to Town Square, uh, you are met by the town master who reddens in shock as he looks down at you. Harbin Wester is a man that has a lot of cheeks to go red. His jowls contort and turn like vermilion as he looks at you and Oh my. I suppose we could put them inside of the, the some of the um the cells. Well it's either Wait. that or the or we leave them out front here. Oh no 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 please in the cells, in the cells. Please bring them in here, bring bring them in here. Oh. We're helping clean up the town a bit. Yes, I also, see that. They attempted to mm. to um mug us. So Oh. They are criminals. Oh yes, well I I I I I shan't doubt that. I do I I I believe you, but still I um Listen, I, you can ply them with cheap alcohol and they'll be pretty content. Yeah, we've been trying that. No, the ones that we're leaving behind. We'll take care of the rest of them. Exactly. Really? If you do that, I'd give you the key to the city. Not that we have a key to the city, but you get what I mean. We were debating what we were going to do, but uh, they kind of forced our hand, so... Mm -hmm. well, we were going uh, to look for Gundren for us, but... Well, good, good luck, I suppose. Um, Please, uh, help me get them into the cells. Of course. Hmm. Right, do not... well... well... You're doing that. I'll go return the cart that was so very kindly loaned to us. Thanks, Lyric. Uh, don't let them talk you into letting them out. Um, no, I don't want to, um, what's the word? I don't want to be shivved. Yeah, they might, they might threaten you, but uh, we'll, we'll take care of it. Don't worry. And Sadri will give him like a reassuring shoulder pat. So. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say, Lady Beriquel? Oh, just said yes, they would most definitely hurt you if you let them out, so they would be best remaining in there. At this point, I think that we are beyond that. Do you honestly think that you can take on all of those ruffians? There's not that many. And there's fewer now. 
Yes, I suppose but so. But there are apparently a couple of bugbears, a large eye monster, and some skeletons. So, you know, we'll have to take them as we find them. Yes. And a powerful wizard. Yes. Well, I mean, it might be the staff. And the yes. potentially powerful staff that gives their boss power? Great power? Well... You will have my gratitude, as well as the gratitude of all of Phandalin, should you be able to evict these ruffians. Fear not. I'll keep them in the clink. Perfect. You've just, you're doing a great job, sir. Uh, Sindri will slap his knees and hurriedly walk out. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go. Um... Well, Alessandra will... Give a little, like, salute. We'll take care of them. Good luck. Good luck! <laughs> uh, so are, are we just going to the inn to face off, or are we going to go in the secret tunnel? I think we should go up the secret tunnel. Alright, secret tunnel it is. Because if some of them are in the inn... Were we going to grab our stuff first, so we don't track them back to... I think it's too late. Oh no! Okay, yeah, well, I think they know where we are. Stuff that is being watched and potentially safe sure. instead of in an empty sure. house. Yeah, you know, like we, I was, I was gonna try and give these guys a chance, but uh, well, shit. They started it. Really. They they truly did start it. They truly. Did. And now we're gonna finish. <laughs> it. Uh -huh. Well, I suppose we should head towards the woods then. All right. You make your way toward the woods, traveling down to the southeast, making your way toward where, making your way toward where Carp had listed on, well, not on your map, but had given you some directions as to where this trail might be, this tunnel might be. It's, Pardon me. remember, it's a, it's a hollow log that, hollow tree stump that looks sort of like a throne if you squint and you're bored and you're, and you're bored. bored at work yes i don't think i can be bored at work but i can squint really hard you must have quite more interesting work than anyway yes i wouldn't do it if it wasn't interesting hmm. heading through the woods you can hear the sound of animals moving in the brush nearby. I'd like you to make me an investigation roll to see if you can find this. I'll also let you roll survival instead, if you think that that would be better for you. I just opened my dice tray upside down, so I'll be a sec. Ooh. Success. Well, sorry, what were the options? Survival or investigation? Survival or investigation, please. I'll think of it. Uh, 17 for investigation. 17 for investigation? All right. 22 for investigation. Ooh. Either would end up to be 10 for me. <laughs> Fancy. Except for the 10. No, right? I'm so good at this. <laughs> All right. So uh, as you are making your way through the woods, what's the highest roll we have? A 17? 22. Sorry. 22. Yeah. Sorry. Um, as you are making your way through, you are easily going to see what a halfling would consider a throne. Oh. And right on the other side of it, as you are all looking around, you will find that there is a small mason tunnel built into the base of this hillside. Almost like um, like a cistern, like a cistern access or something like that. It's large, large enough that, Anthea, you could jump and barely touch the roof. Oh. That happens a lot, but for a tunnel, that's pretty impressive. For a tunnel, that's pretty impressive. The rest of you will actually be able to make your way through it, just barely crouching. And I'd like to know, what's your marching order as you head forward? Dark vision folks at front and ends? Oh, Pro probably. Can I hold on to your rope? Uh, yes, of course. Thank you. Because if if it, I need it, to, it, I'll do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey. Hey monk, keep, keep... you got a uh, you got dodgy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
You want to like, go, with friend? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't love being a friend, but my I know my armor class is like as good, if not better, than everyone else's. So yeah, I'll go in front. So we want to go Sindri, Ella, Lyric, Carmilla, and Thea. Sure, but if we're relying on dark vision, I don't have it. Uh, I'll be back with you, so yeah. we're we'll, we'll for the purposes you. of like kind of side by side, I guess. Do you want to do the light thing in the pocket again? Ah, you got one you light in your pocket. Light. Yeah, I could I could put light on the stone. That's true. That's true. I guess it only matters then. Okay, I'll do that. All right. As you make your way. Who goes into the tunnel first? It's this low, this low moss covered tunnel that you can hear a bit of dripping down at the end. Cindy, you head in first? Yes. All right. <clears throat> now, just for the rest of this, just so you're aware, um, as we are going in here, unless I say so, um, the ceilings are about 10 feet high, and as you make your way down the tunnel, let's go ahead and switch to our maps. As you progress forward, creeping down the passageway, can I just get a stealth roll off of everybody, if you're trying to be quiet? Little try. 22 for Sindri. <laughs> what was that? God damn it. Natural... Can you carry the party? <laughs> Wait, a natural <laughs> what? Natural <laughs> one. Okay. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> what the hell? So, There's a three 12. with dex. I have to roll disadvantage, yeah. right? Yep. So you know how last time one of the rolls I rolled a nat 20 and a nat one? Yeah. The nat 20 on Chris's yeah. like sparkly die? Well, this time Chris's sparkly die rolled that nat one and the other die rolled yes! a nat 20. <laughs> Oh god damn it. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Woo! Crash. <laughs> okay, and uh Lyric and uh and we're middling so eleven. Stealthy. No, twelve, okay. twelve, twelve. The double ones. We all got the one got the double ones, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I was right to put on this music. Oh god. <laughs> Cindra's like, like, like cat pawing, just like very quietly in front there. You are Batman. And, and... <laughs> Alessandra and, and Carmilla just simultaneously trip, taking out Athena <laughs> and Lyric. Oh no! <laughs> God. Uh, sure. Uh, so, like, Cindra, you're going to creep forward, and let me describe what you see. You make your way forward underneath underneath the base of Trisander Manor. It's an obvious smuggling tunnel that you're looking at and making your way through. A cool, soft breeze sighs in this large natural cavern, carrying the faint scent of decaying flesh. A crevasse with sloped walls divides the cavern and is flanked by two rough stone columns that support the 20-foot-high ceiling. Two arched wooden bridges span the chasm. And as you take a step forward, crash, bang, boom, behind you as the two armored figures trip and face plant directly into the room. There's a step there. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> Ow. Sentry Skittle just like stand there with it and close his eyes and then just like uh, look around and just like listen carefully to hear if anyone's coming. Come, come here. Do you need do you need a hand up? No, I think I think I'm all right. Lady Alessandra, are you okay? Um, yeah, yeah. I think we'll just probably help each other up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like <laughs> lean on each other to stand up. All right. So, and yeah, I didn't trip you, did I? 
No, no, I stumbled a bit, but um, I'm okay. Uh, Sindri, you said you I'm were looking around for people. Anything. Yeah. So go ahead and make me a perception roll. Hey, guys. Oh, hi. I'm joining the team. I just rolled my one. So, so yes. you're going to peek around the pillar uh, that is right next to this bridge here, and then you're going to peek around the other side and turn and go kind of give a shrug to your friends. And what the audience at home is going to see is that you are directly blocking line of sight from something behind you with your body. Oh. It's 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 slasher movie like peek around the corner and there's someone yeah great love it I'm so happy. All right, um, is anybody else looking around? I think Lyric is. Okay, roll with disadvantage. Yeah, I'll do my best. Now, like I said before, there is a very sharp scent inside of this cavern. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With disadvantage? What'd you get? Uh, yeah, so that was a 15 and a 1. <laughs> the Nat 1 squad grows! <laughs> Come on, Caitlin, where's the Nat 1? This is my I second got, Nat 1 of the game. Friends. So, uh, sorry, perception? Perception. Be a 12. Okay, um, you, you know, know what? what? I'm gonna use, well, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use my determination and make it a 14 instead. You are? Okay. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and Thanks. Caitlin Buck's trend. <laughs> I got okay. two, two tens on that roll, yeah. <gasps> okay. But they are one and zero. So All right. So, very true. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to spend a hearth of more. Uh, Lyric, can you roll, make me a deck save? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not using those dice again. Uh, one second. These dice have betrayed me too many times. Spicy language. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you get? What'd you get? Did you get a friend's ears? Did you get a know what again? Oh my god. So we're gonna die in the beginning of this secret tunnel. <laughs> okay. So Lyric, Lyric is gonna take a step forward to look around and get a and is going to immediately slip and fall down this ten uh this twenty foot deep crevasse. Uh, you're going to take one point of damage. That's all. And you're going to land on something soft and squishy and putrid. Looking, as you kind of look down beneath you, you are going to see the rotting corpse of a pair of goblins with elongated skulls. Um... And one I, of the, as you shift, one of them is going to just go, and something kind of greenish yellow is going to splash onto your, onto your shirt. Press the digitation. Okay. Nice. I, I, I think I found some, some of the weird, the weird, weird faced goblins, and I'm kind of in them. Does anyone have more rope? I'll, I'll, no, it's all right. I'll go grab her. Um, is this wall climbable? Uh, yeah, you can make your way down. Um, so if you try to uh, make me... Actually, you know what? You have a climbing speed, so you can make your way down easily. Cool. Well, Please, no more rolls. Creepily... Please, not a roll. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Okay. I, I feel like uh, Carmilla's climbing whenever she climbs it goes into like kind of stop motion <laughs> all right so carmilla <clears throat> yeah. you, can you can make your way down along the side of this and we'll see that underneath the southern bridge here are the corpses of two of these strange goblins they have elongated skulls and are dressed in filthy haphazard rags hmm not terribly excited to ask what put them here. Taking a look at them, you're going to see that their throats and bodies exhibit the marks <clears throat> of long, ragged slash marks, like something with claws the size of maybe a werewolf, a werewolf, or perhaps werewolf. something... 
No, here, wolf. No, here, bat. <laughs> Wherever oh, okay. you are, wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Looking around here, um, you are going to you just see that they look like they were killed by something with large claws. And as you are down there with Lyric, kind of helping her out, Anthea, you are looking around, and somehow, from behind where Sindri is just kind of standing and watching this debacle, you're going to see something move in the darkness. It's a There's shadow. A thing. There's a thing. There's a shadow. It's over there. Sindri, it's over there. Where? I have a better, I have a better angle. She'll oh. kind of point it out. And Sindri, as you turn around, you are coming to come face to face with a creature with long serrated spines running down its back, pale frog-like flesh, and a giant glowing green eye Was in the center, the in oh, the center what of its the face. Hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's going to let out a shriek and climb up the wall. Ah. <coughs> well, if we didn't alert things, that might have. Can, can I chase it? Oh. Yeah, if you want, if you want to try to, yeah. Um, so, can you do me a favor and can you make me yeah. a deception check, real quick? Sure. Uh, I don't, do I have deception? No, but that's a 13. Okay, and Sindri, can you make me that roll as well? <clears throat> 16. 16, okay, cool. Um, so uh, you chase after it as it kind of clings to the walls and looks at you with its large, unblinking green eye, roughly the size around of a small dinner plate. So you make your way over toward the wall to try to uh, try to chase after it. Are you trying to get within striking range? Well, is it if it if it looks like it's going to leave the cavern, I would like to at least follow it a little bit. If it's not making to leave, I won't chase it. You are going to hear a voice inside of your mind as you kind of get close to it. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop. Do not follow. No, stop. Do not chase us. Sonic. Sonic needs no hostilities. He means none to you. If you mean no hostility, then we will mean no hostility. Mm -hmm. Are you just a guard? Guard. I got I guard this this resting place of bones and brittle bodies. I've heard the bones are not staying at the rest. Not here. Not here. I do not wish to fight you. Are the others that are coming down here fighting you? Give us food. Sarnak wishes for food. He is hungry. I can smell it on you. You smell like baked goods. Ask Sindri for one. <clears throat> is this all just in my head? This is all in your head, yeah. Ah. And you can read our names from our minds? <laughs> Son, I can see much inside of your minds. Do you have food? You has food, Mazanak. Uh, she'll kind of crawl back down to the base um, <clears throat> and reach in a pocket and if she's got something... Don't know if she has a spare scon. Uh, yeah, you would have been sent home with one wrapped in like a leaf. I think that's a very halfling thing to do. <laughs> Perfect. I'll Hello. end it to him. 
he inhales it, crumbs and all. <laughs> uh-huh. Delicious is good. It's good. Uh, you are here to kill the Red Cloaks. To dispatch of them in some way, yes. You How do you feel to... about that? Uh, don't care. <laughs> don't care. Uh, all of you? And as it says all of you, that voice is going to echo through all of your minds. Ooh. All of you here to dispatch the Red Cloaks. Mm, mind, mind voices. Not good. Uh, can I rec recognize what this is? You can make me a uh, make me a general. Oh, also, I realized I probably should have said my point of climbing down was to bring uh, Lyric up. So, yeah. did I get a chance to have her like climb did up you, with her on my back? I don't think. I think you pounced when you saw someone coming. <clears throat> So you basically okay. just went down, I help you, and then what? And just ran, leaving her down there. Uh, dirty 20 on Arcana. Uh, you believe can I... that. Can you what? Can I also do the Arcana roll? Yes. Um, are you walking down the crevasse a little to try to get a better look? Yeah, although I was thinking more like things that she might know about that speak in her mind, so. Oh, God, that's a huge, exhaustive list. But you may try. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So I have a 20 something for yes. Alessandra. A dirty 20. All right. Is anyone else? Okay. So, and then uh, Amy, what'd you roll? I got a 19. All right. So, yeah, with your roll. wandering down because Carmilla just sort of booked it that way. And I'm sorry. I'll come back for you. All right. And is anybody else rolling? Okay. You are going to be able to, with your knowledge and studies, realize that this is likely a Nothic, an aberration, often wizards who find themselves lost to their own power, who find themselves cursed by their actions in life. The gleam in their eye hints at this weird and unnerving malevolence and this intelligence. They have the ability to pull secrets out of their out of people that they observe with that eye. They also are pretty perceptive, although their depth perception is a bit lacking. Um, they even have an ability to rot people with their very gaze. Which might explain the uh, the amount of decay around these two goblin corpses. They're normally mm -hmm. not particularly um, normally not particularly good, uh, but they can be reasoned with and bargained with. They are uh, a little bit nuts, though. To put it like, they are very unhinged, as a rule. The, the goblins that are down there. Mm -hmm. Were they mm -hmm. with the red cloaks? No. No. No, no, no. They came. They came to snoop. So, <laughs> Sarnak took care of them as per the agreement. Agreement with who? My food. Then talk. Hand him some jerky. Mm. <laughs> mm. So it's an aberration, you say? It is an aberration. <laughs> uh -oh. How tough are these? Would she know? <laughs> uh, with your twenty, they are. And as a raise an oath of the Watchers Paladin. <laughs> Uh, you guys could take it as a group, probably. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Tell you things. I'm willing to trade information for food. What was the deal with Glassstaff? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Glassstaff. 
wants me to guard Stronghold in exchange for treasure and the gift of fresh meat. What are you guarding? Just the entrance? Yes, tunnel. Be useful. Goblins come in, not go out. <laughs> and how often do the Red Cloaks come this way? Often. Stay here, all of them. With oh, goblins. Bugbears. Are they... Creatures. Both? Tall. No. No, Hobgoblin is gone. Just bugbears now. <laughs> Want me show you? Bugbears down hall here. <laughs> Go say hello. It points to the western hallway behind Sindri. Carmilla will look back at everyone. You want Shall we go say hello? How, how, how many are there? Stay your sword, Berquel. It points a finger at you, Ella. <laughs> your oath has no merit inside of these tunnels. One simple push, and I can call them here. What can be push. friend? Can we trust this guy? I'm going to go help my friend up first. No, climb down to get Lyric. <laughs> that sounds good. Lyric, can you make me a deception roll, please? <laughs> I think <laughs> Alessandra is thinking very hard right now, trying to decide. <laughs> but kind of thinking probably, all right, I suppose. But she's going to need to get a promise out of it not to harm any town folks type thing. So you imagine if Carp walked in here later? Mm. <gasps> 22. 22? I'm going to spend a hurt them more to see, to see if I can oh. beat that. One oh. sec. <laughs> ooh, 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 I think I might have. I might have. Let me just, just check this. Oh, it's just a 20. Damn it. Okay. Okay. So you're going to feel this kind of like ASMR tingle on the back of your scalp as this thing looks at you, and its eye is going to dilate as it focuses on you. And then you're going to shake it off. Can I have something in my teeth? Hard not to crack. Yes, it is. <sighs> welcome. But thank you for for the welcome. I, I've been told I have have quite quite the hard head. Mm. There are many down tunnel bandits, red brands. Are they with the bugbears? Bugbears. Alone. There with prisoner. Oh. Shall we free the prisoner first then? Yes. Mm. We don't want any other casualties. Blast. Know where he is? <gasps> For a price. Uh, What's the price? More food? food. My food. Oh. Give me more food. <laughs> Sindri will get his scone out and. Mm. Um, smells like nothing. He'll scrabble forward and grab it wherever you set it down, and is going to take a nice long look at Anthea. Anthea, can mm. you make me a deception roll? Mm, I can try. 17. I'm going to use my determination to make it a 19, though. Okay. He looks at you. His eye dilates. Anthea Briarford. Oh, that's me. 
leaving so soon. I'm not going anywhere. No, you ran, ran from your parents' shop. Oh. No more room for little Anthea. Has to strike out on her own before she burns the entire place down. I, I don't think that's entirely true. It's what Mother said, isn't it? You heard through the walls. The walls are so thin in your old bedroom. Carmilla's gonna pull her sword and yeah. point no. it at him. Oh, friends, friends. I think that's quite enough out of you. You're, you're making her uncomfortable. Not, don't don't make her uncomfortable. Not meant for that, but to just share, to share information. Freedom information of information. To drag out of people's heads is not to be shared. Oh. Now tell us where Blastaff is. North. North room. Put your sword away. Go across, across bridge. Go across the bridge and down the stairs. Or up, up. Either way reaches like pincer. Go up across the bridge or down the stairs and then go north. Quick way. Quick Thank ways. You. Please. Storeroom. The star room. S sorry, out of character. So, yes. um, he was saying the prisoner is down the stairs to the west? Yes, immediately down the oh. stairs to the west. And he's saying basically, if you go to the north, either direction will take you to Glassstaff. Uh, Stendry will start walking down towards the where the prisoner was left. Okay. Yeah, Carmilla will wait for everyone else to start heading. Okay. okay. I think Lyric will follow pretty closely after Sindri. Um, Alessandra's well, going to go as well, but keep a very close We're going to be going. Thank you for the mm. information. Uh -huh. Did I do that okay? You did good. Thanks. I love to be keeping you. I think because I got that reaction, that means I was good. Anyway, okay. Okay. Carmilla will follow everyone else, and All and right. somewhat keeping an eye on on Alessandra to see if she starts a fight. <laughs> Alessandra's gonna kind of like half walk forward, half walk backwards, just kind of hand on her sword, watching this thing. It is gonna watch you intently, but just. And then kind of give you a little one clawed wave. She's just gonna glare. <laughs> Alessandra, we will have many more fights before the end of this day. All right. As you make your way down the hallway, you're gonna be able to hear a couple of things. You're going to hear the sound of someone wailing. Just a <laughs> and the sound of a couple of deep voices. Hey, shut up. You're gonna tell us what we want to know, yeah? Yeah, or else we're gonna beat shit out of you. Yeah, we're gonna beat shit out of you. And also to the north, Wait. you're going to hear the sound of laughter. This passage. Speaking common? Uh, so the the threats actually are going to be in goblin. But you do not have to speak goblin to get the basic gist of what's going on. However, you are going to hear the sound of laughter and some like shouting in common to the north. It sounds like a party. You head down the stairwell, and at the end of it, you see that there is a door to the north and to the south. The sounds of the threats come from the southern door. What do you do? Go to uh, Lyric would like to attempt to make um, hand motions, gesturing 
towards the sound of the threats and it's sort of an inquisitive like that way yes go like walk <laughs> yeah, yeah Sindri will start leading them down that way okay I, I know we don't need dark vision but I said I'd be in front so if anyone wants to do something different just let me know and I'll back off You make your way down there, and at the edge of the door, you'll hear... Who speaks Goblin? Out of, out of you. Who understands it? None of us. We yes, found that last time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Uh, With a look back at everyone, and just like a, a nod, Cindy will toss open the door. Okay. So cool. I would like everybody to make me an initiative roll. Right here from Sindri. Hmm. Oh god, there's that not one. Okay, inside of that room, you are going to see something that's going to catch you a bit off guard. For as you throw the doors open, it is not what you expect at all. On the other side, the door slams open, and this barrack that stands before you contains four roughly built wooden bunks with heaped blankets and dirty dishes scattered everywhere. The strong smell of unwashed bodies and rotten meat fills the air as four furry humanoids lounge in the mess barking orders at a goblin. Your sudden appearance causes the goblin to faint as he looks at you with ah, and hits the ground. Uh, all right, initiative rolls here. That is a 22, you say? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, for Sindri. And then going down the initiative order, uh, I've got Sindri, I've got Bugbear 1, Bugbear 2. Uh, then I have... Uh, I have Lyric. Then I have Anthea. Then I have Ella. Then I have uh, Carmilla. And then I have Bugbear... Three and bug bear four. I'm As... not the bottom array. <laughs> well, we already established that you are for now. For now, but for not now. in this initiative. Not in this initiative. All right, so you are going to to kick open the door and are going to see this goblin faint right in front of you. Uh, so Sindri, you were the one that was in first. There we go. Uh, so kicking open the door, you see these, these, these bug bear turn and look at you and go, who the fuck are you? Uh, but they are obviously surprised. So, Sindri, what do you do? If I get a surprise round, I'm going to go to town. Um, you have a surprise round because they were too busy harassing the goblin. Do All it! Right. So, I'm going to go um, cutlass attack on Hob or Bugbear beside me. Okay. And that's a 16. 16 is going to be... Uh, that is going to be a hit. Yeah! And that's going to be eight points of slashing damage. Ooh, okay, eight points of slashing damage. Um, all right, what else you got going for you? Uh, and then I'm going to use martial arts to give uh, a kick to the knee. Ooh, and beautiful. And that's going to be four, uh, 14. I'm going to spend my determination to make this hit, too. All right, go ahead. Determination is spent. And that's and another eight points of damage. Another eight points of damage. Beautiful. Okay, and do you have another attack, or is that only with Flurry of Blows? That's only with Flurry of Blows right now. Perfect, all right. So, rushing forward, you were going to slash into him and then damn near shatter his knee as you bring your uh, your foot down on it. Uh, it is his turn. He's going to grip his knee with a pain going, Oh, you fucker! Uh, another bugbear is going to try to stand up, but is not quite fast enough uh, because he is also surprised. Lyric, it is your turn. What do you do? a very good question because i'm i'm in the hallway still um you are yeah and there's nothing coming up behind us is there not as far as you can see mm -hmm. okay then i would like to uh spend my bonus action to give let's see let's give let's give Carmilla, 
uh, bardic inspiration because uh, they are the closest to the action that I can see. Sounds good. And I think I will... I believe I can ready an action to throw a dagger if something... I think is going to keep watch behind and ready an action to throw a dagger if I if something comes into Sounds mind. good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Anthea, it's your turn. What do you do? Oh, oh goodness. Okay, she's going to uh, rush in behind Sindri. Mm -hmm. I guess I have to pass Sindri. Oh, no, you know what? Um, she's going to rush into beside Carmilla mm -hmm. and um, toss a fire bolt okay. in. I think I can so do you can, that. You absolutely can. Uh, are you throwing it against the one that Sindri's fighting or throwing against the one on the far wall? Um, Let's do the one in the far wall. Okay, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Um, Actually, the one that Sindri's fighting. Sorry, the other okay, one. Sounds good. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll pounce on one and then we'll go for the other one. Let's go. Yeah, uh, 20. Not er. Oh, no, dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right, roll me damage. Yeah, I had it up and then I didn't have it up. I think it's just a D10. It is a D10, yeah. Excellent. Kacha, six. Nice. As you rush by, your firebolt lashes out and strikes that one. He's having an incredibly bad day. Um, <laughs> he, rawr, rawr, fire starts to lick at the fur, creating this awful smell. And Ella, it is your turn. Okay, um, cool, cool, cool. I think I will move into the room. Okay. And help attack the one that Sindri's attacking. Okay, make me an attack roll. Yes! Did you get a nat 20? 20. I did. Nat 20. All right, yeah. beautiful. Um, all right. Were we doing, um, yeah, we were doing, um, we're doing inspired crit. So who do you grant your inspiration to? Let's give Carmilla it because she hasn't gone yet, right? That's fair. All right. So Carmilla, you'll have uh, inspiration that you can use. Roll me damage. Um, uh, 16 points of damage. Oh boy. How do you do it? Um, so you just kind of like lounging still or. Yeah. Like half in bed. I guess I just stab him, honestly, or slash him across the chest. Okay. Um, slash you him are... and turn, and with my bonus action, go into yeah. defensive stance. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, that's going to be really useful for you in a minute. And Carmilla, you're up. Aha, hello. Um, I'm going to bowl through everybody straight to the back corner guy. Okay. Uh, and I'm um, gonna take a swing a ling. Okay, do you gonna use the inspiration? Oh. Uh, yeah, I will. And then I get. Uh, you also have bardic. Me. And you also have bardic. Oh, if needed. Well, that's a seven plus five. Okay, that's twelve. Which is twelve. So I will also use the bardic. Is it a d six or a d eight? D six. Ooh, uh, <laughs> that's not great. Uh, that's a one, so that makes a 14, and I'll use my determination to make it a 16. <laughs> that's a hit. Yeah! <laughs> we got there! We, we used Team everything! Teamwork! Whoa, you were halfway there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that is gonna be a Stabbing whopping five damage. Bear. Um, but can and I. You added your dex my... or strength to that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I rolled a three. <laughs> okay, cool. Which sucks because I re-roll ones and twos. <laughs> Fair. So what were you gonna ask? Literally you... the worst I can get. Um, and then I would like to use my. I'm assuming that doesn't knock him out. So I would like to no. use my bonus action uh, to make a offhand or no, I'm not because I'm I'm double handing it. So never mind. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to spend a something good happens by the way for you, Carmilla. To say that between the scenes and locking things up, you could have taken a short rest to regenerate ah. your... Because nobody asked I was going to ask it. that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I spent I, a something good I, happened. I, so you... I genuinely didn't realize that a second win is once per short rest until 17th level. Yeah, that's why I'm spending a something wild. good happens. 
<laughs> cool, thank you. All right, so uh, that is your turn as you slash into him. So you have that there. Uh, Bugbear three and four, the one you just stabbed, are gonna kind of go, what? And Sindri, it is your turn again. All right, I'm gonna uh, pile past uh, Carmilla, uh, no, sorry, Alessandra, and I get to, uh, I guess like into this guy's face. Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna go for the slash and then we'll see what I, uh, so that's 19 to hit. Uh, that's so, a hit, roll me. Uh, six points of damage for my uh, short sword. So I'll kind of jump up on the bed and give him a slash and then I'm going to, uh, use, I'll use my flurry of blows at this point. All right, do um, it. Did we, did we all do a short rest or did we? Uh... I'll say you all did a short rest, yeah. Okay, so I have, I'm back to full key points and then I'm spending one. So I have one okay. left. Uh, so, yeah. And I fucking beef it big time. 14. To hit, 14. And then like an eight. All right. So you take a couple of swings, but he's too busy bouncing on the bed. Yep. Nice. All right. And he's going to go, my turn and is going to reach over next to his bed, grab a morning star. Not again! <laughs> and he's going to whip it at you. Here we go. Uh, I don't think that's going to hit. I really... I, I, I don't think that's going to hit. All right, so he had a 13. Uh, 17. All right, so he bounces on the bed. The morning star whips past your nose. And he's going to just snarl at you. Uh, Lyric, it is your turn. Well, I can now get into the doorway. So we're going to do that. Move up to the okay. door. And uh, who looks the most immediately threatened? Most immediately threatened? Probably yeah. Carmilla is the only one who's going one-on-one -on -one with anybody right now. Cool, 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 cool. Um, did she spend the bardic already? Let's step yes. inside, actually. I sure okay. did. <laughs> okay, so a bonus action to give you another bardic inspiration, because that seemed to have been helpful. And we're going to throw a dagger at that, uh, the one that you're attacking. All right, so... go ahead and make me an attack roll. E. Oh, that's not so good. What'd you get? <laughs> uh, does a 10 hit? A 10 does not hit. Your dagger is going Wait. to fly and slam into the bedpost next to his leg and go... Da -da 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 -da. Are you aiming for my dick? Work? You're rude. Um, And that's all Lair can do. You threw a knife at me, bed. All right, and Thea. That's some spicy language. She's gonna uh, barrel through the door after a lyric. And can I jump up on the bed? You can jump up on which bed would you like to jump up on? The one that is empty. Okay, so jumping up on the bed with the hobgoblin corpse kind of half on it, you absolutely can. Yeah, but I'm small. It's true. And. I, I, I'll get a little bit of height. No, I, no, I'm not going to stand on it. Anyway. Boing, boing. Uh, boing, boing, boing. It's a very bouncy bed. Um, in any case, I'm going to uh, lob another firebolt into his into his face. All right, to do this it. this one's face. Let's go. Uh, by this one, you mean the one that Sindri's fighting? With with uh, uh, Ella right next to it? Actually, no, the one with Carmilla. If she's okay, like go alone. Ahead. Because, yeah, now that we're picking too, so let's do it. Let's go! Another dirty 20. Okay, that's going to hit. Roll me damage. Yay! Oh, that's only two! But it's something! Okay. All right, so... <laughs> this is fancy corpse. Uh, the, uh, the firebolt lashes out, lighting fire to... Uh, uh, to the one that is fighting Carmilla, who's going to let out a bit of a Ooh! shriek. Uh, do you have anything else you're going to do on your turn? No. All right. Uh, so then it is going to be Ella's turn. Okay. Um, I think, again, I'm just going to hit the one that Sindri is next to now. <laughs> Sounds good. Make me an attack roll. 
Uh, I rolled a 15, so that's a dirty 20. That'll hit. Uh, six damage. Six damage. Uh, lunging forward, it's holding up a, a morning star. You're going to slash into his bicep, uh, and uh, he's going to growl at you, and looks like he might aim an attack at you next round. Okay. I am... Uh, we'll have done that hit, and then bonus action, defensive stance. All right, Carmilla, you are up against this one and maybe the one at the north soon. What do you do? We're going to try again on the one in front of me. Okay. Oh, there we go. That dirty 20. Actually, That's going to hit. Roll me. Yeah. Beautiful. There it is. Roll me damage. <sighs> Finally something. Uh, that's going to be eight damage. Oh, still on his feet. Not but terrible. <laughs> badly hurt as you slam a bl like a blade across his gut. Uh, he is going to let uh, out a shriek of pain. I think, and... I, I think I'm going to, I'll use my, I'll use my, um, Surgy boy. Action surge, I think. Okay. Yeah. Make me an attack roll. Let's do it. Uh, that is a, I, okay. I add my stuff to the attack, but not to, no, sorry. This isn't an offhand attack. Never mind. This is just a regular attack. Uh, <laughs> it's an 18 to hit. That's a hit. Roll me damage. Oh, that's a one, but I have great weapon fighters. So you I do. roll that. Uh, and that's a seven, uh, plus three is 10. 10. Ten. Oh, death's door at this point. <laughs> you slash okay. him. His his guts are starting to pile out of the cuts on his gut. Uh, and he's going to grab... Um, God, what does he have on... I guess he... To say that he has a morning star under the bed is probably dumb. Uh, so he is going to reach out, grab Lyric's dagger, and lunge at you with it. Uh, that is going to be a hit, though. Uh, that is going to be an 18 plus. Uh, that's going to be a 20 to hit you. Unless anybody has anything. He's 13, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he is going to lunge at you. And with his dagger, he is, or with Lyric's dagger, uh, he is going to stab you for a total of one, two, three, four, five, uh, six points of damage as he stabs you in the arm. Because bugbears are yeah, brutishly yeah. strong. Six. Yeah. They roll extra dice for damage. Oh, and I gained that point for hitting my head back, right? Yeah, no, that healed. <laughs> okay, good. I just wanted to double check. All right. Up to the north of you, you are slashing through that. Oh, I want some trouble. All right. One of them is going to charge Alessandra after grabbing a morning star from underneath his bed. Uh, Alessandra, that does mean he is moving in your threatened air area. Um, does that count as an attack of opportunity for tunnel fighter? I think it does. Um, so whatever. Well, cause tunnel fighter is that if they move within my reach by over five feet, like by five oh, feet or okay. more. So then no. I can do something on them. So he's just moving into my threatened space, I think. He's just moving into it. So he's going to rush you Good. and take a swing at you. And that's going to be... One, two, three, four... Uh, does a... Does a 14 hit you? No. Okay, I'm going to spend a hurt the more to reroll that then. Okay, I'm pretty sure a seven doesn't. So he rushes by you, swings the Morning Star, which you're going to kind of bank off your shield with. And he's going to bring it back around and he's going to swing it downward at your feet. Uh, and I'm going to spend a something good happens. And uh, he is going to hit next to Sindri, who's going to take a step out of the way reflexively. The bed is going to collapse as he takes out one of the posts, uh, which is going to give the bugbear on the bed some slight disadvantages on his turn. Top of the initiative, Sindri, it is your turn. All right, we're fighting back to back again. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, with this, uh, my short sword for the one on the bed. That's, okay. as this bed's collapsing and I'm like trying to like get my footing on it. All right, you'll have advantage on this first attack. All right. Well, I rolled an 11 both times, so that's a miss. Uh, 
So I'm going to try for martial arts and put my other dice in jail. Uh, there we go. That's a 25 to hit. Okay, so he tumbles at you. You're going to miss with your sword swipe and then bring your leg up and catch him. It's for seven points of damage. Seven points of damage is a solid hit that is going to knock the wind out of his lungs. Uh, but he is still alive. Yeah, I'm going to knee him square in the, in the chest. All right. Um, he is going to... All right, you... Bitch. He's going to say and uh, raise his morning star and try to crack you with it. Oh, uh, there it is. Uh, that is going to be a unnatural, actually going to be a 22. Yeah, it's going to hit me. Okay, uh, given the way he's going to hit you, it's going to hit you in the hip. Uh, yep. And is going to deal... Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Four points of piercing damage. Yeah. I rolled double ones. I'll take it. So it hurts like hell as this morning star smashes into the side of your hip. But you know what? You've had worse. Uh, way worse from one of these things. Lyric, you're up. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, there's one that's right five feet away from me, right? There is, yes. Correct? Yeah. Two of them, okay. in fact. Well, actually, one of them, in fact. Yeah. Well, the, the goblin's unconscious still, right? The goblin's unconscious, yeah. Okay. So, but that one that's right next to Ella, uh, I'm actually going to pull out my rapier and try and stab it. Okay, go ahead. So, let's see. That's it. 22 to hit. Uh, yeah, we found your calling. It is stabbing hobgoblins. Roll me damage. Apparently, we'll see if I actually do damage. That's that's the real test here. All right, this is a D8. Um, yeah, well, I rolled a three, and my okay. dexterity is plus three, so six piercing. All Flipping right, you, you have a nice D8 with a hobgoblin as you skewer into his side, pulling out a long bead of blood along your rapier. Yeah. Now, is anyone looking... Um, ha ha how injured are my allies looking? No one has been hit yet except for Carmilla. No, I got hit uh, for four. I'm oh, that's true. Fine. You got hit with a very minor damage. Uh, so Carmilla okay. has been hit for... Um, Six. Eight? It's Six. not a okay. huge thing. Okay. So in that case, let's... Uh, so we're going to stab, and then we're going to do a little swirl with the offhand. Uh... Not that it needs the somatic components, but I think it looks cool. Um, and we'll uh, mutter a few uh, a few words and do healing word on. Do, 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 let's do Sindri, because I think I that probably caught my attention first. Not the person who used your own knife to stab your friend. Look at the. That would have been Block. She wouldn't have seen That's it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, That's... I don't think I saw that. I think I saw Sindri to get some... All right, go ahead. Roll it. Okay. So uh, it's plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which I believe for me as Bard is... Uh, I assume it's Charisma? It's Charisma. Fantastic. Heals seven points. Thank you. Yeah. You're all fired up. Get back in there. All right. So that's your turn, Anthea. As you're Sorry. standing on the, as you, that's fine. As you're standing on the bed, the hobgoblin's gonna go. No, quite. Or pardon me, the bugbear. I keep saying hobgoblin. The bugbear. I'm not oh. quite dead yet. And then he's gonna die beneath you. Oh. Shh. Just let it happen. Um, from my vantage point, I want to take my um, my um, light crossbow from off my back. Okay. Sling it, and aim and fire. At the same one who was fighting Carmilla. All right, go ahead. Make me an attack roll. Yeah, let's go. Something new. <laughs> I love how much that killed Christine. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh. But I'm a I'm I'm a halfling. I'm a halfling. Ones don't matter. Ones don't matter. <laughs> let's go again. That was like 
It was all I of it. I got it one, though. And then for a second, it was Caitlin talking. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, Caitlin's <laughs> secretly a serial killer. What was the actual role? Yeah. Um, um, I don't know what I will add to it. A 10. A 10 total? Yeah. All you have right. discrimination back. Wait. That's okay. You do have I don't think Why did 12 I believe? is good enough. 12 okay. is not going to be good enough unless you have no. Bardic. Yeah, so I wasn't going to use it. Fair. All right, like, so, so you fire a bolt okay. and... So you aim, and for some, like the bed is going to rock slightly as the bugbear dies, and your <laughs> aim kind of immediately pivots to where you're pointing right at the back of Ella's head. Ooh. Oh, and then gosh. the bed frame is going to shake a little, and it's going to bounce up and just fire onto the ceiling because botches don't happen for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the calibration's off. She'll smack it a couple times. All right. Uh, do you have a bonus action you'd like to use? I don't. I don't think I have any bonus actions at all. <laughs> all right, Alessandra, you're up. All right. Well, this guy just got right in my face. And I don't. Yeah, he's that. right in your face. Um. So I think I'm gonna hit him back. All right. Go ahead. Fuck. Not you're one. Not one. All right. Getting overconfident, you lean in and are going <laughs> to go. You're going to throw your shield wide and go for a heroic stab in the center, just like they do in all of those all of those old tales. And he's going to see the opening and is going to crank you right in the stomach with his morning star for a total of uh, that is going to be 11 points of piercing damage. Ouch. <laughs> Welcome to the club of the bad rolls, bud. Bleed, you little bitch. <laughs> He's going to say as he hits you. And uh, do you have a bonus action you'd like to use? Um, Defensive action. Okay, so you'll kind of... <laughs> All right, Carmilla, you're up. Hi. Uh, Well... That's not great. Um, I think she's going to turn and actually attack the person who's attacking Ella. Okay, do it. Uh, ooh, um, oh, I was given... Did you, you, no, you gave someone else Bardic. Um, or did you give me Bardic again? You gave, She gave you Bardic again. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, in that case, that is a 14. But I don't think that hits. So I it, think... It I'll will use... not hit, unfortunately. Okay, I'll use my bar deck. Okay. Uh, that's a that's a uh, 17. That's a hit. Roll me damage. Fabulous. Oh, and that is an 8 plus 3 is 11. Okay. To the uh, one that just you, hit. The one behind definitely... me. All right, stabbing to the one behind you, you have caught his attention. After hitting Ella, he's going to get stabbed in the side. He's going to go, and you, and he's going to spin around and take a swing at you. I won't wish you luck because it's easy to hit me. That's a 14. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> All right, the Morningstar swings around and this is going to catch you in the thigh for a total of, oh boy, um... Ooh. Reminder as your bonus action, you have uh, you have second wind just for the future. Yes. Um, that is going to <laughs> be, be for next, a next total one. of 16 points of piercing damage. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm down. All right. He's going to crank you right in the side. You're going to feel your you swim as your ribs crack. And you are going to drop to the ground. And... Blech. The one that's on the bed is going to look down at you and go, I'm going to squish you when this is done. It is going to leap over you and take a swing at Sindri. Uh, Sindri, that's a 19 to hit you. 19 hits. Uh, 19 hits for 12. Ow, I'm up. Okay. So he comes behind and you feel this 
Uh, oh, pardon me. No, uh, it is not for 12 uh, because I forgot this guy doesn't have his Morningstar on him. He's using Lyric's Dagger, so it's going to be decidedly less. Uh, it is going to be only eight points of damage which is way better. Uh, he leaps off the bed, and as you are doing kung fu against this one, you are going to feel a dagger slide in between your ribs. And that is your turn. You're muted. Thank you. Uh, not my first time being knifed, not my last, and I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to take a swing at the one that L is fighting that just knocked down Carmilla. We're all just going to pile on this guy until they're down. So okay, sounds a, good. A swing at him. Uh, that is a 12. 14 wouldn't hit, so I'm going to use my Flurry of Blows on You him. also have uh, Determination again. Would I don't think... Four, would 14 do it? Not 14 wouldn't, no. Yeah. I'm sorry that you said you had a 14 base. No. Uh, yeah, it would get me to 14. Okay. Uh, so one of them won't hit, but the 14 that I naturally rolled well. So let's get that damage okay. in there. All right, get that damage in there. <laughs> Five. Okay, uh, so snapping a couple of hits at him, you are going to strike him, uh, causing a significant amount of, of pain. Uh, and as you are looking that way, the one behind you is going to wind up. And that is going to be another hit with a yeah. morning star behind you. Uh, that is going to be 15 points of damage. Oh, I'm super down, yeah. Okay. I mean, listen, 15 would have like almost knocked me out as is, so. He winds Are up you dead again? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's unconscious. No, He's like not... dead again? Oh, no, no, no. No, I have 16 hit points naturally, so. Okay. Uh, so he's going to crank into you and turn and leer at Alessandra with that bloodthirsty look in his eyes. And Lyric, it is your turn. Two of your friends have dropped. Well, this is horrible. Um, okay. Uh, not ideal, not ideal. Um, so... Oh, I'm probably going to provoke an attack of opportunity if I do this. But Lyric's going to take, I'm um, going to step down into the spot next to Alessandra... Um, right okay. near You that. will take an opportunity attack. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 18. That'll hit. Okay, unless nobody has silvery barbs or anything, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't think anyone took it this game. Okay. Uh, you are going to take only six points of damage as a Morningstar slashes through your cool. back. Okay. Awesome. Great. Um, so step one, uh, ooh, I can only, I'm trying to remember the rules for casting in a turn. So you I've... can cast a cantrip and a leveled spell. So long as one of them yeah. is, uh, so long as the, the leveled spell is a bonus action, such as healing word. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to bonus action cast healing word on oh this is gonna suck i don't have that many spell slots left carmilla okay i think well oh, three two ah! one sorry i need to flip a coin flip a coin here's my coin give it a sindri he's actually hitting <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Sindri, Sindri was, was heads. Uh, so Sindri, I'm going to give it to Sindri. Um, so okay. Well, and Sindri we're all terrified of him dying again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, actually dying. Okay. So here's my other... Uh, that's my last spell slot. But okay. Sindri's going to heal seven hit points okay. again. And then I'm going to stab with my rapier, the one right in front of me. Okay. Or at least I'm going to attempt it. All right, the one that's on the bed. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, that one. And that's going to be a 19 to hit. That's a hit. Roll damage. Better. Please roll high. Oh, it's going to be six piercing because apparently it wants to keep rolling threes. All right, you stab into him and he lets out a blood curdling roar of pain, but does not drop. We sure didn't actually pick up any potions, did we? Nope. 
two All from right. uh, before we use yeah. those. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You actually you did. You did Who have uh, two. Yeah, I didn't I think. take it. Yeah, we got two. The luck. The luck person gave them to us. I don't know who took them, but we took them. But oh no, the luck person did, didn't. Didn't she said she no. would if you uh, if she helped. It was the uh, it was the shopkeeper. Sildar. Oh, I thought. Oh yeah, it's Sildar gave Sildar. you some. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, you, you've oh. got it, Christine. Yeah, I've got one. I'm pretty sure Anthea has one too, because yep. then she can. Hold all right person. so uh speaking of anthea uh lyric stabs into the hobgoblin to the south yeah. uh it is anthea's turn what do you do i was hoping he was gonna drop but that's okay she's going to uh jump off the bed and kind of move through spaces and if she goes around the goblin there's much surrounding her but she hasn't left anyone's threatened space this is true so in this position She's going to... Oh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, can I... Well, uh, maybe I can do that. Can I use an, an, an item? Um, yep. Can I just pour the, the potion down Carmilla's throat? Yep, it's an action to do so, yeah. It's an action to do so. Okay. It's a bonus action to, to drink it yourself. It's an action to use it on someone else. Mm. In my games. Before anybody leaves a mm, comment. Gotcha. No, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, I couldn't recall because I don't usually use potions. So, um, right. I guess I'll do that then. Okay. Uh, one second, and that was a basic cure potion, right? I think so. All right, Carmilla, that's going to be nine points of healing. I Whoa. rolled almost max. Here you go, get better soon. <coughs> yeah, we need you. Thank you. All right, Great. Ella. It it's Ella's turn. Sorry, sorry about that, Anthea. That's okay. Okay. Which one looks kind of like the most hurt at this point? Oh man, they are all as hurt as you guys. Um, okay. Like if Sindri got a good hit, he might be able to TKO this. All right, I'm gonna get the one that's right between me and Anthea then. Okay, sounds good. You've got to be fucking shitting me. What'd you get? Another nat 20. Okay. This die has oh. waffled between nat 1s and nat 20s in order. Alright, so who are you giving advantage to? Uh, Carmilla uh, let's go to is... Sindri. Okay. I think. If he's got like all the multi-attacks, let's Cindy do that. Sindri has multi-attack, but Carmilla is an initiative before two bugbears. This is true. Yeah, sure, Carmilla, then. Okay. All right, roll me damage. Uh, that's 18 damage. Holy sh... How do you do it? I almost rolled max. He had five hit points left. How do you do it? Um, Kind of like... Got, got hit in the stomach... And just kind of fine, and just stab him in the stomach. <laughs> just run him right through, prop doing the lunge properly this time. Perfect. Double spitting Anthea, <laughs> avoiding Anthea. I'm pretty small. Angling it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, angling it up so it goes up above her head. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Anthea, there's a little spray of blood on your face that the camera picks up, uh, and Carmilla. Ooh. It is your turn. Ella, are you going back into your battle stance? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I think she's going to stand up. D the one in front of me is looking pretty rough, right? Pretty rough. Okay. Um, I am going to... I'm going to bite him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, make me an yeah, attack roll. Um, with advantage if you want to use that. With, yeah. Whoops. Well, that's a nat one, so we're gonna definitely using the advantage. Uh, and that's a 19. 19's gonna hit. Suck some blood. Now I need a ruling. Sure. Because when I'm at less than half of my hit points, yeah. I get points back. Yeah. I at? am at nine out of 19. You're at less than I half. I think that's... Okay. I, I'm <laughs> going to say 
So, um, do you have? Do you only get up to half? Uh, I only get what I what I do. Um, the okay, so it's uh, da, 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 when when you attack with this bite and hit a creature that isn't a construct or undead, you can empower yourself one of the following ways: you gain hit points equal to the piercing damage dealt. Okay, so go ahead and roll me damage, oh, or I can gain a bonus to my next attack. Ooh, I take the health. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> uh, Tempting, just, a, just a D four. Uh, oh, but that is a three. Uh, uh, do I, is it just a D four? Yeah, it's just a D four. So, well, the 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 it says it deals one D four piercing damage on a hit. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't say plus strength or anything, right? Oh, to the attack and damage rolls. Yeah, so I can use my strength or constitution, but my strength is better. So yeah, so it'll be a three plus three is six. So six. Okay, damage so you are going to. Uh, how do you do? How do you do this? Um, I think she um sort of uh stands up and sort of like wipes away a little bit of the blood from being knocked out and a little bit of the <laughs> and a little bit of um uh potion and just sort of rises up behind this bugbear and just leaps and lands kind of like almost spider like on his sh shoulder and just bites down into his fur and just like rips a chunk out and drinks. All right, and he is going to collapse beneath you dead. Um then that is going to be the last Nope, that bug, Can bug can bear. she look up at the other bugbear and hiss at him and try to intimidate him? You uh sure you could do that as your bonus action. Sure. Uh, but that bugbear is after Sindri, so I don't know how much. I it, Just to make it worse, that's all. That's all I want. Uh, it's going to be a 17. A 17? All right. Sindri, what do you do? Top of the initiative. I'm going to take myself off mute. Uh, and Sindri is going to kind of like, Lyric, thank you, and roll up onto his feet, uh, make his cutlass attack. Okay. Uh, and crit. So. Oh! Uh, Let's go! I All finally right. crit! Burr, Give burr, it to burr. me! So that's 12 points of slashing damage. How do you do oh. it? So he's just gonna jump up, uh, like, get a little bit of action, and then just immediately slice his head off. Oh, right. <laughs> And just blood throw his cutlass down lyric? into the bed. How much blood on Lyric? Yeah, how much splatter? <laughs> yes. Medium. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and give uh, uh, motivation chain to Lyric. All right. And with that, the fight is over. Quiet settles into the room here. Well, I'm glad none of us are dead, but did you have to be so uncovered in blood? Oh, wait. Press the digitation. <laughs> That just happened. Mm. Okay. Lyric, thank Carmilla you. is like wiping her face and seeing, particularly if Sindri or El Alessandra saw her do that. Absolutely not. Oh. Facing the wrong direction. Right. <laughs> How are you feeling? Not great, but better than it was. Good. Alessandra's going to take that healing potion she has. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> She's got five or six hit points left. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, hey. uh, oh, you can hear some moaning on the ground next to the small goblin. Oh, right. Uh, 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 hello. Oh, 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 oh! Please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! Oh, uh, we we won't hurt you. Uh, Droop, Droop didn't mean nothing. Droop, Droop just wants, just wants out of here. Oh, no, the bugbears are dead. What'd you do? Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Uh, we killed them. Are you, are you the prisoner? Yeah, yeah, they captured me a while ago. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm Droop. Drew. Droop. Nice to meet you. I'm Anthea. Anthea. Um, That's a pretty yeah. name. You're not going to okay. kill me, right? You're not going to force me to be like a slave or an unpaid intern? No. What? Okay. No. 
Well, I no, like you guys. Mean. You're way nicer than the others. <laughs> than the uh, bugbears? Yeah, they're not very nice at all. They, I just came in here looking for parts for my new, my new invention, and then they, they grabbed me. Ooh, what's your new invention? That sounds interesting. Um, I'm building a wagon. I wanted to go racing. Have you thought about putting springs in it so that the seats aren't too bumpy and your bum doesn't get hurt if yeah, you go racing I'm and not sure. over a bump? Uh huh. Absolutely. I'm thinking nice. of calling them shocks because they're they're shockingly good. Sh Shocks. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. Um, you guys like nice people? Are you gonna like? You gonna? You, you can you can you can you protect me on the way out of here? The exit's very close, but I suppose yeah. Oh. Good. I'm like I'm like a good goblin, not one of those bad goblins. Like we we just like like I come from a tribe of like nice ones. Like at least nice. Like we don't really care about anybody else. With we're, we're the scrap tops. We just scavenge and tinker. We like to build stuff. You sound nice. Yeah, that's pretty we're... nice. Not like the weird ones with the long heads or any of the Craig Maws. We're not even aligned with with the spider. Do you know where Cragmaw Keep is? Castle. I know where Kragma Castle is. Yeah, yeah, that I, one. That's the one. Well, they I mean, always I know, say it wrong. I know it's in the north. I I ain't been there myself, but well, that narrows it down. Do you know how to get there? Um, could you show it on the map? Hmm. Probably not. But um, I know the um, I know that that one right there. He points at the the hobgoblin without the head, or the hobgoblin. I keep saying that. Sorry, the bugbear without the head. Um, he, he can. He's got a. He, he's got a key in his pouch that opens all the doors. Oh, that's a good idea. She's actually gonna go to the other ones and see what they have in their pouches. So not terribly much. Uh, each one of them has a morning star. So if anybody wants a D eight morning star, feel free. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know what? I have one more something good happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for that. I'm gonna roll to see if there's anything good, depending on how good this is. <laughs> okay, not not um, particularly great because I rolled the green dice. Also enough. looking for a map. Okay. Uh, there is no map in here, but um, are you going through all of the pouches, Anthea? Mm, yep, yeah, as many as I can. Okay, so you are going to find an iron key in one of their pouches, mm -hmm. in, in uh, the leader's pouch, you'd imagine, as well as a, a small gathering of semi-precious stones. Like we're talking nice. like citrines and some onyx and some other like smaller stones, not worth that, uh, or not ones that are worth um, too much, but maybe- Not like a hundred gold or anything. Mm, all together? <laughs> okay. Getting close. You got about, okay. you'd say you probably have about 75 gold worth of precious stones. Whoa! Okay, okay. As nice. well as thirteen silver pieces. Thirteen silver. We should split. We should split this up afterwards. I'll take any you got. I'm working on a conductor. Oh, um, for saving you. Do you mind if we keep these ones? I'm just working on something as well. Oh, yeah, that's fine. If you guys keep Thank me you. safe, you can have all of the money. We use more of a barter system. You know, it's a commune. Mm. Has, has there been anyone in the town that seems sympathetic to goblins? Or is everyone like, goblins are awful? I mean, goblins, they're pretty bad about goblin raiders and things like that. But if you vouch for them, they'll probably sure. be okay with it. What about, like, Edermath? Yeah, Edermath, like... Edermath's probably good. Darren's probably fine. Okay. I, I don't wish to bring this goblin along with us Aww. because of what happened last time. Perhaps we can see him to the exit and send him to Edermath. Um, with oh. a note, perhaps? That's good oh, one. yeah. We could do that. That would be the safest. Huh. Uh, but there's like, there's Drew, like... We, it, we, it's not that we don't wish to bring you to put you in danger we want to send you to keep you safe okay thank you yeah but uh 
I still have to get out of here, and there's all sorts of creepy stuff here. We'll get you out of here. Okay. We'll, we'll take you to the entrance. Where's the tunnel? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a strange creature, but if you are with us, it will leave you alone. And until we get you to the tunnel, and then you can leave safely. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Does anyone have any paper? I was just looking. Oh, I have the <laughs> envelope from this note. Perfect. Uh, can I? She got can given I use the letter the from her aunt. So there you go. Do we have any? I think it would have been in an envelope to keep it secure. Uh, well, Carmilla will use the bugbear blood. Should we? I mean, they're not <laughs> using it anymore. Um, yeah, sh um, Carmilla will, yeah, take the paper from Alessandra, um, if, find, I, I presume that you have some kind of, that, um, uh, uh, Anthea has, like, ink and a quill. He, you would think so, but it's not on my character sheet. So, <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we argue that you probably think, have it probably in a bag? You okay. You've, okay. you've in canon oh, said you, know you were what? taking notes and sketching. Oh, that's Maybe true. You're you're right. Yeah. I Lyric have my also blood. has. I have my I book. forgot about that. Oh, right. And Lyric would too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but Lyric doesn't want to hand over her nice pen. Oh, sure. Actually, yes. You know what? Here you go. Thank you. Um, she'll write it out oh, uh, and just say, uh, Darren Ermat, uh, please keep this goblin safe. Uh, he wishes to get home and is not associated with the bad goblins um, and will fold it up nicely and then if there's any candles uh, she'll put some wax on it and stamp her ring into it to keep it closed because she has a signet ring you do thank you I appreciate it oh. um, per perhaps we should take a short rest to catch our breath before we head out yeah I'm I'm down while we you... do uh, Drup, can you tell us anything about the castle i can yeah um like the, like this place yes or sorry the, the, the manor yeah uh i've been around it a little bit i know that there's there's some type of some type of thing happening just just up there down the hall where they got like some some of the the the, the red cloak people are having a meeting with like um with like some some like highwaymen i think they're just playing That's... playing cards or something well how about as we sit and we will take a rest and while we do we can perhaps pick your brain a little about what you know that would be real nice. You seem like nice people. And as he says that, down the hall, you will hear that the sound of your fighting did not penetrate the door to the north as they continue to chortle and laugh. <laughs> You're raised, you son of a bitch. I'm going to clean your clock, buddy. You're going home without any pants, shirt, or anything your mother gave you. Please, just take his money. <laughs> and as they laugh... Who sticks down here? One of you will just probably reach out and shut the door to the hobgoblin room with all of the massacred hobgoblins and take a short rest. Which I think is where we're going to call game for tonight. Uh, congratulations, folks. You didn't immediately die despite rolling more nat ones than any other game ever. Jesus. Oh my God. Um, like, literally what? I, turn. I was going yeah. nat one, nat 20, nat one, nat 20. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, I, I just want to state it that Lyric was planning on doing the song of rest for a short rest. <laughs> Um, okay. Which means if you're spending a hit die to regain hit points, you add, add roll an extra d6, I believe is how that works. Nice. So why don't, much cool. why don't we go ahead and roll up the short rest right now for anybody yeah. who is doing I'm it? I'm going to roll a hit die. Okay. Remember, you can spend up to two if needed. 
Um, I think this is going to resolve me back. I rolled a nine and a five. So. Okay, remember all of your things that reset after a short rest? Yeah, my key points are back. <laughs> Yay, key points! You just have to meditate for like... Do I recover anything after a short rest? Uh, yeah, I believe you recover... Oh, do you recover Bardic at your level? Or is that higher? Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's I level... Think it's long rest. And I don't recover spells. Those are after a long rest. Yeah, so I think Bardic is at... Uh, I have two Bardic Inspiration well, yeah. left to give out. Font of Inspiration is level that five. That resets on long rest, yeah. 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 So you got a little That's bit of rough. time. Hmm. Amy, thank you for healing me. Yeah, again. Thank you, Amy. Amy. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you for Let healing. Let us survive. <laughs> it's a pity I spent that one spell on sleep earlier, but I, I needed to do it. So. You, you know, yeah. we really did. Oh my God, the sleep was clutch. We really yeah. did make up for our luck earlier the, today. Where we well, like... I've been saving my spell slots so that when we get up against <laughs> the guy with the staff, Max, yeah. I can smite his ass. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's going to be it for tonight. Everybody's healed up. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. Uh, we're going to be back next Monday. In the meanwhile, be sure to come back tomorrow if you're on the Patreon for Strixhaven, A Curriculum of Chaos. Uh, come back on Wednesday for Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, as they're headed into the final rounds of it it's gonna be great uh and thursday we have our special sponsored stream where we are premiering the world below by onyx path publishing so you definitely want to be there um and folks if you like what we do here give us a follow give us a sub if you're on uh youtube or if you're on twitch and you got some extra extra cash burning a hole in your pocket don't forget that your prime subs are free for you if you're a prime member and they're uh they give us some of those bezos bucks uh, take it out of his pocket. Give it to us. Uh, and if you want to support the stream, the best way to do so is to join our Patreon, where you get access to uh, additional podcasts between two and six games a month, usually closer to six, uh, like Old Gods of Appalachia, upcoming Alien Destroyer of Worlds is coming out in November, Technocracy Zero, some Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos, um, and just so uh, Panic at the Radiant Citadel is coming back, and so much more that you get to see uh, up to three months in advance. It's a fantastic way to do it uh big thank you to our divine producer uh my mom uh and my good friend professor multiverse our demonic producer uh precarious our wizards of the patreon tammy the forever cleric and the ink goblin and of course the high council of the patreon taryn buddy amberthist raven with bobbles karasha urquhart chef eladeth laruk sorcerer sanguine and mike baxter at this point i could pretty much get those guys tattooed on my arm uh and uh with that that is going to be me throwing my pen across the floor. Um, that's going to be us. Uh, good night, all of you viewers.